stream here on the channel. Uh, Bethesda released Steel Dawn for Fallout 76 today, and it's kind of by accident. Uh, based on what I understand, uh, Bethesda... Sorry, just getting the chats up. The chats up. Based on what I understand, um, the data for Fallout 76's uh, Steel Dawn update appeared on the Xbox by accident, and people downloaded it. Instead of, like, deleting that from all of these people's devices, Bethesda just decided, eh, it's ready, we'll, we'll publish it early. And so that's what they did. Now, there are a few things, according to the patch notes, that are not available yet. Like, the, there is the underground uh, bunker building thing. We have access to it, but I think there's three different interior sizes, and we only get access to one right now. So there are a few things that we don't have access to, but the quests are all there. Atlas Observatory is completely changed, so on and so forth. So um, they took the servers down earlier today, at w and so w when I was doing my live stream earlier today, I couldn't play Steel Dawn. I went ahead and did Wasteland 3, which we've been enjoying and which we are almost done with. But um, the viewing several in the chat really wanted to see me play Steel Dawn. So now that the maintenance is over, the server maintenance is over, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Steel Dawn tonight. I don't know how long I'm, I'm going to be able to go. I just put my kids to bed, gave them baths, fed them dinner. They're sleeping, having a good time. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself, but I'll tell you what. I'll stick around as long as I can. And then tomorrow morning, instead of Horizon Zero Dawn, we will continue with Steel Dawn. Okay. Now to get the chat up. The maintenance. There we go. So it looks like we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. Good to see everybody. Matthew, Corey, Dominic, and uh, uh, are all on Facebook today. So happy that you're joining me today. And of course, it's good to see all of the regulars and members in the chat on YouTube today. Brian Sanchez, Jocelyn Ryan, 200 Angel, Quintayus. Knight Paladin Eleanor, Jacob Teb, Automatic Beats, and Zombie Boss, new member. Thank you very much. Zombie Boss, Bulky says, nice robe. No suspenders. No, no, you like that. This is my evening, right? I don't I don't dress in, you know, my typical oxhorn garb all the time. Like the, the derby hat, that's my show hat, right? I, I don't wear it, you know, in the bath. You sit me you know, smoking cigars in the bathtub. You know, well, I mean, I have done that before, so I can't say never, but it's not typical. It's not typical. The derby, I've never had the derby in the bath, right? So outside of the whole Oxhorn realm, I, you know, I, I don't normally dress like Oxhorn. And at bedtime, I can put the kids to bed. My, my evening is winding down. You know, I get in the robe, and I've got my cigar, and I drink a little scotch. Although tonight, I'm drinking uh, rum and coke. Rum and coke. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> Jocelyn, <laughs> Jocelyn Ryan says, there you go, Rachel. You got your bathrobe. That's true. Rachel has been asking to see the bathrobe. So there you go, Rachel. Um, there's the bathrobe. No name says, don't normally see you this late on Tuesday slash Wednesday. What a surprise. Well, yeah, I'm usually doing something else. And that that's another thing. I'm supposed to be working on my Vault 94 video, which I've been working on for over a week. And it's such an intense video to put together. This is, de this is derailing me. Like, I didn't expect to be doing Steel Dawn this week. I had it on my calendar, scheduled to do it on December 1st. But no, Bethesda has to completely ruin my schedule and drop it weeks beforehand so that now I've got to scramble everything and, okay, I'm doing Steel Dawn now. So, this, the fate of this fabled Vault 94 video. Will I ever get it done? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm spending today and tomorrow on Steel Dawn. However long it's going to be. Read the patch notes if you, uh, if you can before we, get, we dive in there. They changed a lot of things. Like they completely changed the way that food and water works. You no longer get hungry or starving and dehydrated. Instead, when you eat and drink, it just gives you a temporary buff. So there's no penalty for not eating and drinking now. And I got to say, that's awesome. I fully embrace that. I never liked the survival mechanics in Fallout 76 at all. So this is a wonderful change in my opinion. Okay. Aside from the patch notes, I am going in on this completely blind. I haven't read up any of the stories. I haven't seen any other live streams. So you know what I know. 
Let's explore this together. Steel Dawn update highlights. This is a brief snippet from the patch notes. Let's read this before we get in. Ad Victorium, the Brotherhood of Steel is back. Back, meet new characters, visit new and updated locations, and unlock rewards during the all-new Steel Dawn questline. Head underground. Read a Shelter's Claim Center poster in any train station to start the home expansion quest and claim your very own instanced camp shelter. Don't just survive, thrive. We've replaced all negative effects from hunger and thirst with buffs that increase as you eat and drink. And gear up, complete Steel Dawn quests and daily ops to get new weapons and armor rewards straight from the Brotherhood Arsenal. Rachel says, yay, rum and bathrobe stream. Quick peek at shelters. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of want to focus on the Steel Dawn quest right now. But yeah, I mean, we got to take a look at the shelters. So we'll take a look. Valentin says, oh man, oh man, I was waiting for this. Well, my friend, you came at the right time. No Name says, as long as we have Santa Bot, I'm happy. Don't worry, we still have Santa Bot. And Miwi says, Miwi is here even though she should probably be sleeping since it's almost 12.30 a.m. Well, I'm glad you made it. All right, looks like there are some free things on the Atomic Shop right now. Uh, a black suit. All right. Anything else free? No. Let's choose the right character. Let's play. Now, my character is probably right outside Vault 84, because that's what I've been working on, so that's where I last was. I may have to unencumber myself and craft some ammunition and so forth before we head on over to the Atlas Observatory. <sighs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Visit the new Brotherhood Headquarters. All right, so I am what back. What would you like in your stocking? Note, stockings not included. Everyone loves Santa Bot. Okay, there we go. The skylight is fixed. Now, when I went to Vault 94, I tore my weapons to shreds. I have hardly any ammo left. Do I have any? Yeah, I've got 98 rounds of e uh, two millimeter EC cartridges left. Uh, let's see if I can craft. I don't think I have a lot of crap. Let's scrap on down. John Lazana says, hey, Ox, looking for some fun. It's uh, 11.30 here. Well, good to have you on the program, my friend. I'll be going for a while until I get tired. Don't know when uh, that'll be, but we'll do what we can. We get as much done as we can. Okay. Do I have the resources to craft some Gauss rifle ammunition? Oh, that's energy ammo. And oh, <laughs> I'm low on steel. Well, let's make the best of it. Let's, uh, all right, I'm not going to need the hacker anymore. So what did I have here? I had, um, gunsmith. Then let's, uh, put on our ammo crafting, ammo smith. And then we've got critical savvy. No, 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 we've got, oh, let's get rid of bloody mess because we want to do super duper. Energy ammo. Come on, give me two crits. Lame. There we go. Got one. All right, so that puts me up to 167. Should be good to go. Now, what about my weapon condition? My Gauss rifle is almost done. We leave reaction rifle. Also almost done. All right, I'd better repair them on up. Mr. Master Chief says, uh, meet the clone Oxhorn in Fallout 76. Is there a clone Oxhorn in Fallout 76? 
Brian Sanchez with a tip. Thank you very much, Brian. Rachel says, get your Ammo Factory Legendary perk. It's easy. All right, I'll, uh, I don't know how to do that, but I'll, I'll take a look at it. Oliver says, uh, no, Mom, I can't because I can't pause Fallout 76. I know, who can? Not when we're busy like this. Eric to Eric with a heart. Thank you very much, Eric to Eric. Eric. All right, Ammo Smith, let's put back Sneak. Super duper, let's put back Bloody Mess. All right, so there's my build. Now, what do I want? I want, I want, um, I want to repair my weapons, so that's, uh, I think it's an intelligence. Weapon artisan, there we go. Modify and repair. Let's go to our instigating gallus rifle. Let's repair, workbench repair. Bingo. Let's go to our Gauss shotgun. Oh, it's doing okay. So then we just need our lever action rifle. Oh, and I'm low on steel. I should have done this first. Oh well, I'm doing okay. All right, let's put uh, Weapon Artisan back. And let's get Gunsmith. To decrease weapon degradation. And now, at last... Actually, no, let's get some, um, some food and drink. Although, I guess we don't really need any right now. Shut up, guy. Do I have any food? I've got a ton of spoiled meat and vegetables. I got a sweet roll. I got that in the oh, vault. Oh, oh, no. Everyone appears to have died. This is terrible. Let's cook this up real quick. Hey, my brother's in the chat today. He says, not fair. Well, bro, I know it's not fair. Oh, that's right. I've got all this Marlock meat. But uh, kids are asleep. And I've got a new DLC to get through. Oh, all this Marlock meat. I know I should probably do super duper, but if all of this food is going to spoil anyway. Satisfied with your gift. This unit is not authorized to make exchanges. Please contact your closest Rocco customer service help workshop for further inquiries. Roasted Marlock meat. There we go. Then, back to our power armor. Looking good. We'll hop on in and move out. Avrian says, use legendary perks, Oxhorn Master Infiltrator. Yeah, I know that that came out recently. I just haven't bothered to do it yet. How do you mass How do you get legendary perk cards? Do you buy another one after getting all of them? Oh, well, I don't have time for this right now. Let's uh, listen to the Brotherhood message. Attention, people of Appalachia. This is Paladin Ramon. 
Kalani of the Brotherhood of Steel, broadcasting from Fort Atlas. You are no longer facing the wasteland alone. The Brotherhood has returned. Our mission is to help you lead a better, safer life, free from the dangers left behind in the wake of the Great War. If you require aid, or if you wish to join us in our mission, find us at Fort Atlas. A For new dawn is here for Appalachia. Join us in building the future. Romani out. Here we go. We've listened to the Brotherhood broadcast. Go to Fort Atlas. Attention, people of Appalachia. Now, I was diseased. I got diseased in Vault 94, so let's uh, get a disease cure. Uncle Matt says, nice hair, Ox. Thanks. This is my end of the day having worn a hat for four hours today hair. Glad you appreciate it. Okay, so there's, uh, oh, looks like, uh, oh, we still got, we can fast travel. Rachel says, go to the menu where you swap cards and click at the top. Max special points reached. Okay. Click in. Top. Hmm. Clicking at the top. Uh, yeah. Oh, legendary perks. New slot. Choose a perk. Whoa. Ammo factory. Produce 50% more rounds when crafting ammunition. Oh, <laughs> I wish I had that earlier. Whoa, this is new. Cool. Blood sacrifice. When you die, teammates gain 25 DR and heal 40 HP. And one combat enhancing chem every hour. Kill melee weapon. 10% chance to explode. Demolition contagion. How many are there? Oh my god, I can't read all of these. Throw an explosive. Ooh, 10% chance an, ener an enemy's energy attack will recharge your powers. Power armor's fusion core. That's cool. Exploding palm. While unarmed, let's see. Powerful, funky. Master Infiltrator. Auto unlock skill level zero locked terminals and locks. Plus three to lock picking and hacking skills. Uh, how is that useful? It automatically unlocks skill level zero locked terminals, but I still have to put power, power armor reboot. Power Sprinter, Retribution. All right, this is something I need to put some time and thought into. I'm just not prepared to do it now. We're here for Steel Dawn. Let's focus on Steel Dawn. I'll do that later. Maybe I'll do that when I go to the, uh, the camp building later. Eric the Eric has got an explosive Gauss shotgun. Their legacy now. I, I know, I, I don't have an explosive Gauss shotgun. Quest completed, welcome to the neighborhood. Speak to Russell Dorsey. Oh, we remember Can Russell Dorsey. Those old army ranks are meaningless. The Brotherhood is a new world order. Hey, good to see you again. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Looks like your plan worked, Dorsey. I caught a little flack for using the logo when they arrived, but they were pretty impressed. So much work was already done. The paladin asked me on the spot if I wanted to make it official as an initiate. I'm not too proud to say I got so excited I barely could say yes. So if you missed it earlier, I did a video on Russell Dorsey um, when we started hearing that uh, the Brotherhood was coming. So... Um, we know each other already, which is why I was able to make a comment about his plan. Shock Roba says, when you select Master Infiltrator, you don't have to use the GPR cards on your special to unlock terminals because it replaces them. Oh, cool. Well, I guess the Brotherhood finally showed up. They sure did. 
trailing a bunch of recruits and new initiates they'd picked up along the way. Quite the sight to see, no lie. I was really glad I had something to show them when they got here. So this is Fort Atlas? Yep. The Brotherhood renamed it when they turned it into their new headquarters here. I can't wait to see it. I did a video on the Atlas Observatory, uh, uh, observatory before the Brotherhood moved in, so I'm, I'm eager to see what's changed. I'd like to know more about the Brotherhood. Of course. What'd you want to know? Well, what's your impression of the Brotherhood now that they're here? I wasn't sure what to expect, really. I built up a picture of them, reading the old logs from Taggarty's group. This bunch, well, they just marched across the continent. And you can sense the strain. But the resolve in them is like nothing I've ever seen. Okay. Paladin Romani, their leader, she's really something. Makes you feel like you're part of a brighter future when she talks to you. All right, I don't know how much I buy this because Elder Lions, Brotherhood of Steel, was dispatched by the West Coast chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel like a decade before they arrived at the Capital Wasteland. And along the way, they had like a scorched earth mentality towards raiders and monsters. They destroyed Pittsburgh, creating the pit or scouring the pit. It took them a very long time. And Roger Maxson lost contact with Eliz Elizabeth Taggarty, what, a year ago? So, well, well, maybe it was more than a year. It was just after Vault 76 opened the door. So yeah, let's, let's be generous and give them two years. It took them two years to get from the West Coast here? Why did it take Elder Lions so much longer? Don't know if I buy that. What's it like being an initiate? Oh, it's an honor. I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense, but really, it is. I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful. Building a better world alongside other people who've committed their lives to that cause. Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? So they've got Russell Dorsey doing guard shifts in the rain. I'm just glad they treated him nice. Remember, if you watched my last video, my biggest fear was that the Brotherhood would roll in after their super fan, Russell Dorsey, set up Atlas for them and then dismiss him or, you know, make him clean the stew pots or something. But no, here he is in uniform and he's right where we left him. So I'm, I hope he's happy with the way that this has turned out. How many Brotherhood are here? Well, aside from the initiates and hopefuls they recruited along the way, just three. I was expecting more, <laughs> honestly, but Paladin Romani said three was plenty to start a new chapter. With the recruits they have already, she's right. You're kidding me. So only three who were dispatched by the West Coast made it? Well, I can't wait to learn how... Uh, why? Well, um, I wanted to ask you something else. What do you need? I'd like to speak with someone in charge. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. So I wonder how this is going to go since we're officially members of the Brotherhood, right? After doing the primary plot. A Brotherhood hopeful. Can't interact with them. Let's take a look at what they've done. Okay, so they fully repaired the vertebrate landing pad. Ooh, look at that. Nice big Brotherhood of Steel logo, and it's not even plywood. Fight's just beginning. Stay disciplined. Are you buying this keep the peace idea these Brotherhood types are putting down? Those old army ranks are meaningless. The Brotherhood is a new world order. Just like the old army, eh? Join up, defend yourself, and see the world while you're at it. What's with all these bags everywhere? 
Someone's been dumping all of their um, notes. All right, well. We're building I, something big here. Don't get left behind. I doubt there's gonna be much left around. All of Russell Dorsey's notes are gone. I'm so glad I made my video when I did. That's like a, a time capsule. That'll never be seen again. about joining up? Getting in on the ground floor? How about you? Let's, wait a minute. Anyone there was a power armor room? station down here. Let's see what's changed. No, it's uh, just uh, emblazoned in uh, Brotherhood of Steel insignia now. We've got our stash box. No new notes. Looks like all of the notes that were down here are gone. Oop, I think I saw a clipping bug. Nope, nope. Just my imagination. All right, well then let's uh, hop on top of the Atlas Observatory to see what they changed up here. Remember, Russell Dorsey left a few notes up there. And there was this tent. Hey. I'll have some armor like that of my own someday. So these are all hopefuls. Not members of the Brotherhood, just uh, stragglers who followed them across the continental United States and arrived here hoping to join. Well, if you recall, Roger Maxson, the, the last words that he spoke, uh, spoke to Elizabeth Taggarty was to encourage her to start recruiting more people, or, or rather to cooperate with other people and expand the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, she was hesitant. She was resistant. Um, but I wonder... The Raiders, the ghouls, if anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. Oh! I wonder if these new fellows... Uh, have decided to listen to their elder. All right, let's head inside and speak to Knight Shin. Aston says, Oxhorn Russell has a diary under his bed. You know what? Everybody kept telling me that when I published my video on it, but look, I know there's this big white book over here. Oh. When I came here last time, I couldn't read it. And I came back many times. Uh, to see if I could read it. The Diary of Russell Dorsey. This is where we learn a bit more about his father. Figured I'd start a journal while I'm out here. Being all alone in a place like this. A guy starts talking to himself anyway. So I guess I might as well write some of it down. Something to look back on when this is all finished, maybe. Let's see if he updated it after the Brotherhood arrived. I was out looking for scrap when I picked up the signal. It was so faint. Just a crackle of static at first. But then a few words came through here and there. I couldn't understand it until it had repeated a few times. The Brotherhood of Steel was coming back to West Virginia. It seemed impossible, but in between the hissing and pops, those words Ad were victorium. real. I don't know I what's bringing what them saying. back or why they waited so long to send someone from out west, but as soon as I understood what was happening, I packed what I had and came out to Atlas. This is where they're coming, so this is where I have to be. I've been thinking about Dad a lot while I've been doing all of this. Everything I set up here, I ask myself how he would have done it. I can still picture the house we lived in after the bombs fell. All the repairs he'd made. The extension he added so he could put up the water, uh, put the water in the purifier. Put in the water purifier, the greenhouse. I think he'd approve of what I'm building here. I wish he could have lived to see it. Not sure I'd have ever come out here if he has, though. Still missing. Greg, wherever you are, thanks again. Greg was this guy I met on the road in Virginia. Old Robco technician back before the bombs fell. Used to work on Protectron units, going out to corporate customers and doing on-site maintenance, fixing broken motivators and that kind of thing. When I met him, he had this Protectron that had followed him around. He called it Clanks, and he glued a ragged old top hat onto its head, made it carry his stuff as he, as he traveled. We were camping one night, and he made Clanks do a little dance routine, reciting a silly song in that mechanical voice they all have. Worst singing you've ever heard, but it made us laugh. Like he explained army, to me how he'd found the unit in an old shopping center, still running but with busted leg servos, and refurbished it. He opened up clanks and showed me how you could hotwire their motherboards, activating maintenance circuits to override their command systems. It's funny. I never thought that would uh, be all that useful. And then I show up here, and it's not easy. Luring a Protectron into a position where you can crack open their service panel and do some jerry-rigging. But the good news is if you get one, it's a lot easier to get more. This place was a wreck when I got here. Nothing but wrecked vehicles, junk, and insane robots patrolling it all. Barely got away when they first attacked me. 
I don't know what they were doing here back in the day or why an observatory would have security robots, but I'm glad they did, even if they almost blasted me at first. If they weren't here, none of this would have been possible. Without the bots to do so much of the lifting and welding and all of the other heavy construction, I'd barely have some sandbags in place here. Instead, we've cleared out the rubble, started on walls. Heck, we even got a landing pad on the go. I'm not even sure the Brotherhood has any flyers, but I had the space, so why not? Still not sure what's inside the place, though. I could hear more robots clanking around in there, and when I peeked inside, it seemed like a wreck. I just boarded up the exit, so whatever's in there stays in there until the Brotherhood shows up. They'll know what to do better than I would, and the outside's enough work as it is. Ooh, I think this is new. Haven't had much time to spare to write here, but the Brotherhood's back. I thought things were busy here when it was just me and the bots getting ready, but now things have really kicked into gear. I have to admit, I was surprised when it was just three of them. I figured a whole platoon, or a troop, or whatever you'd call it, was on the way. But it was just the paladin, the knight, and the scribe. They had a bunch more folks with them, but only those three were actually Brotherhood, it turns out. Everyone else were just would-be members they'd picked up along the way. Like me, I guess. I'm the real deal now, though. Brotherhood Initiate Dorsey. They looked at everything I'd gotten ready for them here and swore me in almost on the spot. I nearly thought it was a joke, but, uh, Knight Shin's not really the joking type. Ooh, can't wait to meet this fellow. I still wake up some mornings thinking it was all a dream, but it's real. I'm truly part of something now. I hope, somehow, Dad sees what I've done, and he's proud. All right, initiate me. Get back to work. <laughs> Oh, Russell Dorsey. I like the guy. He's a sweetheart. Uh, Shadow Shine says, Just played an hour and a half. No spoils. Can't wait to see how you react to things. Also, did you ever meet Dodge in Watoga? I'm behind on your vids. Um, I explored all of Wat Watoga in my Fallout 76 live streams like two years ago. Um, but I don't recall anyone named Dodge. Kuso Saki says, uh, Oxhorn, um, do you sleep? Uh, yeah, intermittently. Uh, my sleep could be better, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we'll finally be able to rebuild society. Forging trust. Meet the returned brotherhood. Wandering Paladin says, Hey, Oxhorn, can't stay tonight, but I'll watch this Thursday in place of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Sounds good, my friend. I have real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. Help us put on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Goodness. Paladin. Well, uh, certainly wouldn't call this a, uh, a family environment. Well, hello there, Sean Hoffman. We have to cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. Is, those, I want it. Not now. Not until these Brotherhood jerks listen to me. Not now. Not until these Brotherhood jerks listen to me. Rail Withers says, ha ha, just seen that you went live, Ox. I was playing 76, got off just to watch you do the lore. Hope you enjoy the new update. Thank you, my but friend. I'm looking forward I'm to it. When I'm put on day and night. Do not attempt to access the secure parts of this facility, civilian. We are watching you. I've already explored this entire place, buddy. I know what's here. If you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Uh, I'm actually an initiate myself, you know, uh, sir. You're not one of mine. Don't tell me you followed that automated program Taggarty's people left behind at Fort Defiance. I respect that you did that. 
But that was a desperate measure on their part, and doesn't represent true Brotherhood traditions. Ooh. You want to be one of us? You're going to have to earn it. From living members, including me. Oh, so what we did didn't count. Were you fighting with that other officer? That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian. And none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. Uh, James says, I get to catch an Oxhorn broadcast, and my boss gave the rest of this week off. This week is awesome. Happy Thanksgiving, Ox. Happy Thanksgiving, James. Glad you're here. Well, Russell Dorsey sent me to talk to you. Did he? Initiate Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Uh... Oh, you seem pretty tightly wound. Do you ever unclench? I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone and you will learn how much less I tolerate it from civilians. So that's a no then. Your life could depend on it. What are the Brotherhood doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. We're here under orders from Elder Maxon. Stay out of our way and we won't have any problems. What would it mean to join the Brotherhood? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. Dorsey thought I might be able to help out. Hmm. Initiate Dorsey is too trusting but I can't fault his commitment. Perhaps he sees something in you worth our interest. Are you another aspirant to our order? Ooh. Um, let's uh, see if we can go through the other dialogue options first. I need to think about this. I had some other questions. Make it quick. Are you recruiting new initiates? That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood. Miwi says maybe it's just me, but Shin reminds me sort of Rhombus, spelt that wrong maybe, from Fallout 1. Oh, I, I see what you're saying, Rhombus. Yeah, he does give me that vibe. Find, detect, and preserve. Well, we have a lot of options here. Um, what would it mean to join? If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order we'll exists to locate, time. secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. We will not allow another apocalypse. Okay, I have a feeling that a lot of these options are... Um, we'll make I'm gonna say the same thing. Well, we can try. <laughs> Let's see what he say if we, uh, says if we go. Maybe? This isn't a casual decision, civilian. Becoming one of us is committing yourself and your life to a cause. Be certain. Otherwise, you're wasting both your time and mine. Well, um, I don't want to have to go through all this again, which is what I'm probably going to have to do if I choose that. So we'll pass a charisma check of four to say, I can think of no greater honor than to join your noble brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. Mm. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. Immediately. <laughs> Normally, I might stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But... If you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. There's something you could do for me that would help the Order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid, or want something, or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. There's too much left to do to secure this facility. If you're really interested in helping, Save my time. Interview the petitioners. Find out what they want and report back to me. 
Just so happens that we've got pretty good relations with everyone in Appalachia, the Raiders and Foundation. Um, <laughs> is there another member of the Brotherhood I could speak to? No. The chain that binds dictates a strict hierarchy of command. Ooh. And as the only knight present, the initiates are directly under me. Unless I say so, your contact with the Brotherhood stops here. That's a great reference to the chains that bind. If uh, any New Vegas fans will recall that the chains that bind had a huge role in the Lost Hills questline in Fallout New Vegas. Well, what's in it for me? To be in the Brotherhood is an honor and a life of service. If that's truly something you want, start here. Perform this duty well, and we can talk about your future. Uh, I had some questions first. My patience is finite, outsider. My questions are infinite. Well, I think I'm ready to take on that job. Don't just think. Make a decision. Talk to the petitioners, find out what they want, report it to me. Is that clear? Sir, yes, sir! The wasteland is merciless. Do this right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Everything makes sense now. This is I my place. I gave you a job to do. My mission. Unless you're done. Get to it. Toxic Sean says, look at this bloke in his bathrobe and no hat tonight. I know, it's almost as if, as if I'm uh, feeling a bit casual. A little feisty. Okay, any notes? Throwing nukes left and right. We need to speak to the petitioners, and I have a feeling one of them was right outside. Need to understand the pass as well. Sorry guys, I'm taking all your tools, I got some ammunition the to craft. The only reason you should be back here is if you're ready to give your report. Dude, calm down, buddy. Jeez. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. Hello, Sean Hawkman. You better have something useful to say to me. Whoa, whoa, who are you? I don't even know you. What did I do? I just told you who I am. I already told them that when I got here. Nobody's listening in this place. I came here so that they can make things right. And they won't even listen to me. I'm not actually part of the Brotherhood. Don't take this out on me. What? Oh, hey, hey. sorry about that. You're right. <laughs> it ain't right me blowing up on you like that. I'm just really wound up, and none of these brotherhood types are giving me the time of day. Actually, Knight Shin asked me to talk to you. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right, keep it cool, Sean. So, what's he got to say to me? Would you tell me more about yourself? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, I like to be left alone. Well, tell me what the problem is. The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clown showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Oh. Now I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else, maybe I go to Crater and start doing things their way. Oh. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. This is what I'm saying. Brotherhood, man, they never change. Lord. I'll let Sh uh, Night Shin know everything. First, though, I had more questions. All right. What else did you want? Are you sure they were Brotherhood? Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility to fix this. They had the power armor, and they said they were Brotherhood. 
Sorry I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Raiders cause the trouble. Would you really become a raider because of this? Listen, I don't have much. But what's mine is mine. And these people took that from me. The Brotherhood pretends like they're noble, but then they let this happen? In their name? Raiders don't act like something they're not. And at least the gangs defend their own. Ooh. The problem is that a couple of these, now nah, I'm a peaceful, never understood. I came here, at least they don't. I'll tell them what you told me, Sean. I promise. Goodbye. Hey, uh, listen, uh, thanks. I just needed someone to listen and take me seriously. When do I get to go out and prove my word? I hope you can convince them. Well, I would be pissed off too. A bunch of morons coming in here, trying to establish a reputation for the Brotherhood, and the first thing they do is start requisitioning from people who don't even know who they are. There's a gun that shoots those. I want it. Typical Brotherhood, though. Oh, this is all new. Well, they got their billiard table set up. I should be getting back to work. So, get at it if you're gonna. The California member. Well, Art now nap. look at you. You with these steel brother fellas? I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. Gustavo says, hello, Oxhorn. A hug from your follower from Brazil. And a hug right back at you, my friend. Good to have you here. Uh, what is it you do? Farming, such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than skull. <laughs> but it's mine. And I manage. You've been waiting long? Longer than I prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one neither, I see. Well, sort of. Night Shin asked me to speak with you. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? Tell me more about yourself. Ain't much to tell. Been a farmer one way or another. All my life. My daddy before me and so on. Set up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out, there's plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it, but neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. Isn't your farm in danger with you away? Got seed in the ground right now. I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds. So I reckon it'll get by till I'm back. <laughs> That's fair enough. Well, I was asked to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. Yeah. For the cause, they said. Yeah. Like that don't make them raiders too. Well, I ain't got much. And I already got to worry about raiders. So... I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much, but I got some extra, and I expect they'll have a use for it. Smart In return, man. I want these <laughs> steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. So, seems fair. Seems fair. Um... I'll pass your uh, offer tonight, Shin, but first I had some other questions. Uh, I'm not going anywhere just yet. Shoot. Military grade harm. Wouldn't turning over your crops be just as bad as them being taken? Before they bombed the daylights out of everything, folks used to pay taxes in exchange for the government doing what it was supposed to do. Raiders will just take everything. This is a trade. Fair is fair, and a deal's a deal. I like the I way this guy thinks. People poking their noses into my business, but 
If a bushel or two to these brotherhood keeps the raiders away, then I can live with it. Did you wish to a fair trade for the cup? So, in return. I'll bring them your offer, Art. Take care. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. You take care, too. Well, they're all crowding around me now. Well, hey there, Dr. Blackburn. Bored. Bored, bored, bored. Speak or go away. I do not tolerate eavesdroppers. Oh, I think I'm going to like this guy. Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. <laughs> well, I was going to speak tonight, Shin, for you. But if you want to be like that... Perhaps I spoke too hastily. I can be rather unthinkingly brusque. Oh. Dr. Edgar Blackburn, at your service. Are you working with this knight, Shin? What has he said to you? Dr. Edgar Blackburn? Where has he been? We've been all over Appalachia. Where's he been hiding? Well, um, tell me more about yourself, Mr. Dr. Blackburn. I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about himself. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. That must happen a lot. Well, a doctor with poor bedside manners. Um, well, he asked me to find out what you wanted from the Brotherhood. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made. But from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Something fishy about this guy. Durag says, is that Victor from Outer Worlds? Oh, the voice actor? It is a familiar voice. It does kind of sound like Vicar Max. I'll mention that in my report, but I had some other questions, though. Very well. What did you wish to know? Miwi says Dr. Blackburn is voiced by the same actor who voiced Herschel Biggs from L.A. Noir and Joshua Graham from Honest Hearts. That's it. That's Joshua Graham. That's Herschel Biggs. You're right, Miwi. Oh, let's hear that gravelly voice again. Can you tell me more about your re research, Joshua Graham? It would be... Difficult to express it in layman's terms. No offense intended. Imagine in him essence, saying quite I have been studying the illnesses of Appalachia. For too long, people have relied on folk remedies and makeshift medicines. The long-term effects of this environment are concerning. Just because the radiation is survivable does not mean it is safe. No, the Legion dies with Caesar. Are you working with Foundation? Their hygiene standards are better than the lot at Crater, but no, I'd prefer to work in solitude. One day, perhaps, my research will be of benefit to them and all the other people of Appalachia. Good insight, Miwi. You're good with voices. I had heard that my research is... I came to... Given the state... Well, I'll pass that along to Night Shin right away. Thank you. Be well. <laughs> well, they're not doing a very good job of not making him sound menacing. What is it now? All right, well, let's uh, talk to this one. Even mean. Hey, yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? You know, about the guns? You don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lane. What's your deal? Guns? You seem a little anxious. Uh, who? Me? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. Mm. 
Yeah, she's a raider. She just wants free weapons. Uh, wait, who are you? I just told you, dummy. Tally Lane. Just, uh, another chick trying to make it in the wasteland. You know? Well, Knight Shin sent me to speak to you. Shin? He the scary guy with a stick up his butt? All right, shoot. Speak or go. Uh, what's your story, Tally? Oh, um... I'm just a poor country girl, you know? Parents died ages ago, so it's just me and a few friends trying to make our way in the world. It's pretty scary out there. Just a bunch of orphans helping each other out. Oh. We're practically just kids. Had to grow up on our own. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those high-tech guns these Brotherhood have to scare off all the I maniacs out there. Oh, we're just a bunch of wasteland orphans. We need plasma weapons to fight off the monsters. Tally, you're not a raider, are you? What? Me? A raider? No, 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 no. A little old me? Don't be silly. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Uh, so I take it guns is what you're after? Yeah, that's right. Big shiny guns. Now, all the talk in the area is about these Brotherhood folks with their high-tech toys, and I thought, Tally, you gotta get some of that. For self-defense, of course. Uh, just so me and, and some of my poor, innocent friends can protect ourselves from all the nasty folks out there. Miwi says, Vicar Max was voiced by Dave Mitchell. Keith... Uh, Cesara Balka is the voice of Blackburn here. It's part of me if I butcher that name. As well as Harbringer in, uh, or Harbinger in Mass Effect and Joshua Graham and Herschel Biggs. Thank you, Miwi. Grievous Reborn says they rebooted Animaniacs with Pinky in the Brain. You're kidding me, really? Oh, man. I mean, I'm glad a new generation is going to be exposed to it, but the reboots never carry on the same soul as the originals. Well, I'll be sure to tell that tonight, Shin. I just wanted to ask you some other things first. Why not? Hit me. Be honest with me, Tally. Why do you really want those guns? Hey, you calling me a liar? I'll... What is I, it mean? I mean, I already told you. My friends and I just need them for self-defense. We'll pay good caps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that... Not all the time. For self... Something I can do. Well, I can't promise anything, but I'll tell Knight Shin I should go. Hey, I get it. The promises backfire all the time. Well, Just go get him, Tiger. We're all in for it. Okay, oh, Tally. Bird. You looking at something? Hello. Oh, what's all this? Radiation levels nominal. Some strange readings from somewhere below. Oh, somewhere below, huh? Interesting. What exactly are, are the Brotherhood building Ooh. below? Imagine the stuff you could smash in that power armor. Did you wish to speak with me? We should spend less time. I could speak with you all day, you buddy. Your voice is awesome. My bones ain't getting any younger. Okay. The efficiency of Brotherhood response to visitors is lacking. This better be worth it. If you see any notes, give me a shout out. I'm not no, I'm not seeing any. Uh, well, let's see what's down here. Just an exit. All right. Well. I think we got everything. I imagine the Brotherhood would object to a collection of blood samples from all its members. Why does he want a blood sample of all of the members in the Brotherhood? This guy is freaking me out, man. Mr. Master Chief says she sounds like Tiny Tina, for, Tina from Borderlands 2. Well, I'll take your word on it. I haven't played Borderlands 2 yet, though I have heard good things. Ain't no kind of life wrapped up in metal. Okay, well, let's see exactly what sort of choices we have now that we've talked with all Keep fighting out there. the supplicants. I am not a receptionist, civilian. I have actual work to do. I can do more have you finished the task I gave you? I have spoken to the petitioners, and I'm ready to report. 
Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Um... I really want to find out what he says to this, but I also don't want to, like, lock myself out of all of this dialogue. So let's start with the one that's most important to me. Well, let's first let's talk about this. We're building something big. If we can convince him to set up a trade with Art Knapp, then maybe he'll be more inclined to give Sean Hawkman his stuff back. So we'll say Art Knapp wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from raiders. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. Shouldn't you help him regardless? This is not a charity. As a civilian, you are free to play hero for everyone that comes to you with a sad tale. The Brotherhood, however, has a duty to its mission. And that does not include playing bodyguard. Mm. Enough about that. What's next? Oh, is that it? Well, Sean Hawkman was robbed by people claiming to be the Brotherhood. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Uh, I mean, they showed up in Ford power Atlas armor claiming to be the Brotherhood. Well, what matters is he believes it. You should help him out. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. Well, I mean, you kind of need to get to the bottom of it. Give me your next report. I mean, don't you want to talk to him? That's it. Well, Dr. Blackburn was looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity. And our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively. And under our supervision, he will get nothing. Um. Well, frankly, he was light on the details anyway. Then, he can peddle his snake oil somewhere else. The wasteland is full of people claiming to be scientists or doctors. They are rarely either. And usually cause more harm than good. The wasteland is merciless. Next report. Tally Lang wants to buy some guns from you. No. We are not arms dealers. Well, uh, <laughs> I think she might actually be a raider. There was never any circumstance in which I would authorize weapons to that woman. But your vigilance is noted. That covers everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Brotherhood. You need to lose those soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Soft. Should you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment and grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. All right, but well, what about all those guys? So, are you really not going to help any of them? What I am going to do is make the recommendations I see fit in my report to Paladin Romani. As the commanding officer, the final decisions will be hers. And your concern in the matter ends here. I have here. my eye on you. Fine. I don't suppose you have time for other questions now. Let me complete my report. If I do not have other pressing duties, then I will consent to your questions. Well, we probably can't respond by going, oh, another order. So we'll just go, yeah, thanks, I'll do that. Be vigilant, outsider. All right. Well, I feel awful for these guys, this guy especially. Well, I hope you convince the Brotherhood to make good. Well, um, I don't know about convinced, but I told Shin they should help you out. Wow. I uh, gotta admit, I, I didn't really think you were going to do that. Hey, sorry about being so high-headed earlier. It turns out you are right. I'm not used to that. 
Thanks. I'm gonna get back to the grind. I spent too much time here as is. You watch your back out there. And with these guys. Well, hopefully he won't turn into a raider after this. Let's go talk with the others. I wonder what the doctor will say <laughs> when we tell him that we didn't really buy his story. New recruits. Something I can do for you. Back again, huh? You talk to that military fella upstairs. I told Knight Shin about uh, that the Brotherhood should make the deal. Now that's mighty right of you. Whether they do or not is on them, but you got my thanks for your part in it. Well, I'll be moving along back to the farm soon. Stay out of trouble, you hear? All right. Now, <laughs> uh, hey, hey, here comes trouble. I hope. You hope hey, right. got something for little old me? What's the word from the Big Bad Brotherhood, huh? You butter them up for me, my friends. Lots of pew 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 for tally, lasers, and <laughs> plasma and all that. She and her poor orphan friends. Uh, honestly, I think you're a raider, Tally. And I told the knight as much. Man, what you gotta do a thing like that? You just gotta ruin this for me. I never did nothing to you. I mean, uh, not that I am a raider. That's uh -huh. nuts. Stupid that you would think that. Oh, stupid. If I was a raider, I'd probably be mad about this. You'd be looking over your shoulder for me and my friends. Speak or go away. But lucky I for you, I'm not. Now scram. Does that mean that we're going to have a random encounter later where they attack me? I hope so. I am a okay, Dr. Blackburn. Yes. Did you need something else? Well, I was hoping to ask more about your research. Your enthusiasm is refreshing. I could discourse on the subject for hours, if allowed. <laughs> Regretfully, I am preparing to return to my lab and do not have the time. Perhaps if we meet again in more congenial circumstances. Well, in that case, I'm sorry, but I couldn't recommend that the Brotherhood aid in your research. No matter. I did tell you not to bother. Still, I regret that I have not convinced you of the import of my work. Should we ever meet again, perhaps I can remedy that. I will be leaving shortly. Take care. The wasteland holds many dangers. Keep your wits and your health about you. Farewell. Well, uh, <clears throat> he didn't seem to be bothered. What is it now? Toxic Sean says, Oxhorn, I dare you to flash the camera. What? I, like, I'm wearing a bathrobe. I'm, I'm not naked. I, I am wearing clothes under my bathrobe. Jocelyn Ryan says, I'm going to double down for you not to flash us, Ox. Don't worry, Jocelyn. Don't worry. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go there. I understand that that all of this, as, as amazing as this is, this isn't the America reason you're all watching. This isn't America. the lure. Take you know, I, I get that that's it's a you. small part. It's a small part. It's not the primary reason. You should get that mutation treated, civilian, before it becomes a real problem. Wow, they even mentioned my mutations. How could they tell that I was a marsupial? I am busy, civilian. Andrew says, thanks for all of your thoughtful commentary and attention to detail. Your videos bring life to the Fallout universe in a way that makes the world feel real. Thank you, my friend. Anything that is my back, hope. We'll be ready. Keep that armor right. in good shape. So your these are just initiates. Have so much to teach us. I hope I get to meet them in person someday. Let's see what Greetings, they got civilian. going on down here in the uh, center. Beneath the telescope. The robots are all cleared out, and they've got a bunch of scraps set out. And that's about it. Trying to find any hollow tapes, and I don't see any. Well, let's head up the stairs. And talk to Scribe Valdez. Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? Well, I helped out that Shin guy. He said to talk to you about getting in on this Brotherhood action. Did he now? 
<laughs> Knowing Night Shin, I'm guessing that's not exactly how it went down. Right. But if you're a prospective initiate, then I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? What is this mission exactly? Our new base is littered with old technology, but there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so I'd like some backup. Okay, well, we can help with that. Deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Bianca says, Hi, Ox. Is this an update of Fallout 76 or a paid-for DLC? It's an update. I believe it's free for everybody who owns a copy of the game. Shadowshine says, Your character needs to drink, and there is a holotape here. Thank you, uh, Shadowshine. I'll keep an eye out for the holotape. I have a few more questions. All right. Fire away. Is this the kind of thing, is this kind of thing normal for a scribe? Ideally, yes, actually. In practice, not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. I'm never gonna make a name for myself holding down the board. When do I get to go out? <laughs> oh, you don't sound uh, thrilled with your role. Can I do it? Yes. But it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. Hmm. I. <laughs> Night Shin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Aww. Business only. Poor Scribe Valdez. Well, uh, why not just bring one of the initiates? Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well. And I'll be happy to vouch for you. Can I get a look at those logs you were talking about? Not as a civilian. However, if Paladin Romani lets you join our ranks, then I might reconsider. Especially if you're a big help on this mission. Okay. Well, let's get back to discussing sure. the mission. Ready to go? Um, any time to prepare for something like this. No problem. I have to wrap something up myself. Why don't you head downstairs when you're ready and I'll meet you there. Sounds good. Okay, uh, this gives us an opportunity to look around for this hollow tape that chat told us was waiting for us here. The Raiders, the ghouls. If anything tries to oh, attack, we got a couple of them. We'll be ready. Oh, these are the original Atlas research logs that we already covered in my lore video on the Atlas Observatory. To think of everywhere we've been, this old place may Atlas Project Research Log 104. Lieutenant Marks and I have begun calibrating the ion beam accelerator. We've hit a plateau at the 300 MeV threshold. Oh, micro variations in the magnetic flux are disrupting the Betatron induction loop. <laughs> the Lieutenant is working on a firmware update for the coil controller. She said she'll have the wobble out by Monday. Assembly of the main device remains on schedule. The Air Force is nothing if not punctual. I remember that part. Colonel Oberlin is still pressing for the facility to be fully operational before the end of the year. Huh. Well, as much as I want to see my research in action, we need to proceed carefully. If this goes wrong, the results could be catastrophic. Atlas has the potential to change the world. One day, or destroy it. And I'll show those 
Uh, I'm gonna listen to them all because I recall when I did my lore video on Atlas that there were some holo tapes that we found in the game files that weren't actually placed in the observatory, and so I want to see whether or not they added them. Though I can't recall off the top of my head which ones they were. Atlas Project Research Log 292. Nine three. It's been five months. Five months since that day. They abandoned me. The military never believed in Atlas. It was just another weapon. When the nukes fell, well, what did it matter? Atlas, this research. It's been my life's work. We need Atlas. The world needs Atlas. Now more than ever, I have to finish it. Everything I need, it's its all here. I just need time. And hands. I've activated all the robots. There are security bots. They were, they were programmed for this, but it's all I've got. I can make it work. I replaced the main lens. The particle analysis. I think the accelerator is finally stable. <sighs> I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. Just a little more. It's almost done. Almost done. I do remember that from previous. Uh, Paladin Rami's terminal. I oh. Running my own operation would involve this much paperwork. Hey, Paladin Rami. Request for the Brotherhood should be passed through Night Shin. We could always use more initiates. Can you tell me more about the Brotherhood? Absolutely. We are here to help in any way that we can, civilian. Each day in service of the Brotherhood. Well, who is the Brotherhood? The Brotherhood of Steel are your saviors, civilian. We are the guardians of human civilization. We bring order to the wasteland. Something that it desperately needs. Wow, this armor is is impressive. It's definitely not the kind we saw from uh, uh, the Commonwealth variant of the Brotherhood. This looks more antiquated. Well, what is the Brotherhood doing in Appalachia? First and foremost, our mission is to restore society and preserve any technology that will assist us in that goal. In addition, we are currently investigating what happened to the previous Brotherhood members from Fort Defiance. I could tell you that. It is important that we establish a new foothold here, which will allow us to aid the people of Appalachia. Do I need to call a seminar on this? Paladin Taggarty was killed in action during Operation Touchdown. That is... very sad to hear. Although not at all surprising. We feared the worst after we lost contact with her. I knew Paladin Taggarty back when she was lieutenant. Good woman. I have no doubt in my mind that she led the Appalachian chapter admirably. I'd like to make my way to Fort Defiance personally at some point to pay my respects. Those soldiers deserve some remembrance for giving their lives to protect this region. Well, which technology are you interested in? Sorry, civilian. That information is classified. A new foothold? Was the Brotherhood of Steel here already? It's interesting that we have this option, even though we can already tell her the fate of Paladin Taggarty. Yes, there was a unit here led by Paladin Taggarty. We lost contact with the group shortly before their mission to attack the Scorched, and we are unsure of their fate. Regardless of what may have occurred, their selfless courage is commendable. I have another question. I'd love to answer any questions that you may have. That's good. No me. What made you want to join the Brotherhood? My mission in life is to help others and restore order to the world. The Brotherhood of Steel is aligned with those goals, in addition to the preservation of technology. I will be on the forefront of rebuilding society. Can I join the Brotherhood? I'm glad you're inspired by our mission. In order to fully accomplish our goals and establish a foothold here in Appalachia, we need to build up our ranks. If you're interested in recruitment, you can speak with my second, Knight Shin. If I don't sleep tonight, I should be able to get this list done. I want to talk about something else. Sure. 
What would you like to talk about? What's your role? As the Paladin, I am the commander of this unit, and I'm here to establish a foothold for the Brotherhood of Steel. It is important that we restore society. And the steps that you have already made here in Appalachia are admirable. However, without the power of the Brotherhood, you will be unable to prevail. I am eager to lend that power. I mean, we developed a vaccine for the Scorch Threat, but hey, glad you guys are here. Well, tell me more about you. I suppose I can set aside a quick moment to chat. Where are you from? I'm originally from the California branch of the Brotherhood of Steel. I was posted near Mariposa before the bombs fell, and I learned that some Raiders members of the U.S. military had created an organization to help people. As a member of the U.S. military, joining up with the Brotherhood was a natural transition for me. What branch of the military were you in? I was in the National Guard. Helping those who are less fortunate has always been a passion of mine. Uh -oh. Being able to help protect my community was an experience I'll never forget. But now, my mission is to protect you and the other people of Appalachia. I see another potential conflict of interest here. She's starting to sound like Elder Lions. Elder Lions, who practically got uh, cut off from the West Coast chapter of the, of the Brotherhood of Steel. She's talking about helping people like Lions did. But the Brotherhood isn't really concerned about that. They're concerned about preserving technology. This will be interesting to see play out. Who leads the Brotherhood in California? I, Elder Roger Maxson, is our leader back in California, and is the person who sent us on our mission to Appalachia. Miwi says, heading to bed soon, getting hard to keep my eyes open. We'll probably watch the rest of this on demand later today. Thanks for stopping by, Miwi. Hope you have a good night's sleep, and uh, you'll enjoy it tomorrow. I'll have it set up for you when it's all done. Toxic Sean says, just watched your first Wasteland 3 stream. Love your uh, Sysco prop. Love your Sysco prop? Fysco prop? Well, thank you very much, Toxic Sean. Sure. What made you want to join the Brotherhood? My mission in life is to help others and restore the world to what it once was. The Brotherhood of Steel is aligned with those goals. In addition to the preservation of technology, the resources that the Brotherhood can provide will assist me in accomplishing my mission. I will be at the forefront of rebuilding society. She's another Elder Lions. So that's how this is going to go down. We're going to have to make a choice between hardlined Brotherhood ideals or siding with her to be a positive force for the people of Appalachia. Well, I already know what I'm going to do. Sounds good to me. Ryder Wheeler says, could swear there was a note on the table so below. Well, don't worry, my friend. I'll get down below and check again before we meet up with Scribe Valdez. Let's talk about Appalachia. It's a beautiful land, and the people are resourceful. We will do everything we can to support them. Oh, oh, I knew it. <laughs> this entire time I've been wondering why she's been pronouncing Appalachia wrong. Like everyone from here is saying Appalachia. She's saying Appalachia. You do know it's pronounced Appalachia, right? Ah, did I slip up again? <laughs> Old habits die hard. I hope you'll be patient with us Westerners as we learn the local vernacular. Well, before I started playing Fallout 76, I always thought it was pronounced Appalachian. Appalachian Mountains, but no, apparently it's Appalachian. Everyone here needs to get inoculated, or else you'll turn into scorched. All of us have taken the inoculation, but thank you for inquiring. How? It means a lot to me that the people of Appalachia care for the well-being of others. What, what, did they talk to the overseer and get the soda that I mixed up? How did they get inoculated? I made the inoculation. Well, what do you think of the groups that have settled here? They've done well to build such capable communities on the broken bones of the old world. Foundation is charming, and I admire their workmanship. The people of Crater may be more complicated, but wow. I refuse to judge their group based on our past encounters with raiders. Over time, I'd like to build a lasting relationship with both of these settlements. I like Paladin Romani. She's, uh, she's surprisingly open-minded for a Paladin of the Brotherhood of Steel. I did not expect this at all. Certainly. I'm here to listen. I've got to go. 
Stay safe. Well, since she's so understanding, she won't mind if I <clears throat> hack into her personal terminal, right? She's just standing right there watching me. Oh, I'm just looking at the screensaver. <laughs> uh, P L A N P P L A N D A I S D A I S. Oh, come on! D A I S P L A N. Disorder is to be expected in a place that lacked brotherhood oversight for so long. Still, this is. Come on! Oh, it's gonna take the. E A R L E A R L. I find that the the easy ones are the hardest to hack. E A R L E A R L E A R L. Ah. E A R L. What? Bingo! Arrival. We are here. We've finally arrived. The state of Appalachia is surprising, to, st to say the least. It's a lush landscape compared to the bleak wasteland that we've had Throwing to trek through. Right. This is a promising location to establish a new Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel chapter. We had a good stockpile of supplies here upon arrival, thanks to Russell Dorsey and his unwavering support of our cause. But there is much to be done around Fort Atlas. I plan to focus my efforts on establishing relations with the existing factions here in Appalachia, especially with the settlers that reside in Foundation. Managing relations with the Raiders and the Crater will be, Things would be arduous, to say the least, survived. but is a challenge that I'm ready for. Gaining the favor of the people in this region will make it easier for us to recruit and to fortify our position. She's smart. I like her. Luckily, we have already attracted the attention of many hopefuls and would-be initiates. The people of Appalachia need our help, and I look forward to aiding them. They have already begun coming to Fort Atlas requesting assistance. I've charged Knight Shin with receiving the requests, probably the worst person for that job, Someone and I must admit that his distaste for public again. relations is quite amusing Do to I me. To oh, she's doing it on purpose. <laughs> I love it. That's it. Nice screensaver, uh, uh, Rami. That's, that's all I was looking at there. Okay, let's see if we can find any more lore before we go on with the mission, which is downstairs. She said she would meet us downstairs, right? I have my eye on you. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. Subtle. Okay, Good down weapons. we go. Night shins training, weapons, and a base like that. That's where I need to go. Let's do one more quick scrub of this entire place down here. I trust it wasn't a mistake to let you back here. No, 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 we're, we're good, buddy. Just calm down. Each day in service of the Brotherhood is a step forward. I can do more than just fight. Uh, Deviant Knight says, Heox, you might want to get the Infiltrator perk, the legendary one, to make things easier. Yeah, I've actually, uh, someone else recommended that to me as well. And I may do that, um, but I, I kind of wanted to focus on the lore of, of the new DLC first before I start diving into the legendary perks, which admittedly I have ignored up until now. All right, do you guys see any new gear back there? This all looks like familiar stuff. All right, so someone is convinced there's a new note down here. So I'm going to scrub it really thoroughly one final time before we move on. Ooh, hey, there's a locker room. Look at this. Knight Connors report. Starting recording. Knight Alan Connors, Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, one second. Let me toss another one on the fire. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll do a status report later. This one's off the record. Odessa, Daniel, I'm about halfway through the night shift. And it's gotten me thinking. I know it's been tough on you two. 
neither of you are quite the grizzled old timers that Layla and I are. I just want you both to know how proud I am. Not just to see you rise to the challenge, but to see you do it with such vigor and determination. For every bit of trouble this trip has been, it's only just started. But I hope you can enjoy calm nights like these and take a moment to relax. Look, each of us have our reasons for being here, including Layla. You may not always see eye to eye, but know that she cares deeply for both of you. And Daniel, I know you probably feel she cares too much, but that's just her way. Leading from the heart has always worked out for her in the past. <laughs> Trust me, man. I've been through the thick of it with her. In this journey ahead, we're going to need to rely on each other with unwavering support. The toughest trials have yet to come. But remember, we're more than a brotherhood now. We're family. I wonder if that was a recording from someone who died during the trek across the continental United States because we learned that only three made it, but none of them are named Knight Connors. Uh, Jocelyn Ryan says, Jessica Sharp wants you to know that your vid on Cook Cook helped her with her own experiences and that she's grateful for all you've done. Thank you, Jocelyn, and thank you, Jessica. Um, you know, the, it, it's just a testament to the writers of Fallout New Vegas that they were able to, to create a story Vegas. about such an awful topic and yet people would walk away from it feeling like uh, their story was represented or that you it was treated that with treated, sincerity civilian. before it becomes a real problem. Okay, well, I think we found the lore. Let's move on. We were going to make, meet Valdez on the other side of this door. Here we go. Think I need more rum. I hope friendly fire is not an issue because I'm using my Gauss shotgun. Hey there, Scribe Valdez. We're going to talk or what? She's going to wait there for me. I mean, I explored all of this when I did my video on Atlas. Good, you're here. So, how do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. That's what I'm good at. Um, Reading the schematic is a good first step in the problem-solving process, we can say, by passing an intelligence check of four. Are you trying to get on my good side? Because that's how you get on my good side. <laughs> but enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. All right. So, downstairs and not through here. Stick with me, Valdez. I've been here before. Move. Oh, move. Move. Oh my god, move. Scribe Valdez, move. Oh no. No you don't. Get out of my way. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of my way! Thank you. All right, down we go. Half the time my flashlight helps darken an area, the other half of the time it just blows it out so much that I can't see a doggone thing. Bugs! <laughs> 
Is that it? All right, let's get the first one. Thankfully, they're all marked for us. Here's a document. Atlas, could, could, could you move please so that I can? Atlas decommission report number three. Lieutenant Marks, August 23rd, 2077, intake pressures and stress tests. This is all new. A single use of the Atlas device requires a huge intake of coolant to keep the machine operational. Pumping this coolant through the device during operation puts a worrying amount of stress on its pipes, pumps, and valves. Repeated usage testing has revealed signs of cracks and breakage throughout. Furthermore, the hasty construction of the machine has led to structural flaws that could lead to high pressure buildup in the intake points, which could have destructive results if not addressed. These flaws could have been averted with careful design protocols, but the pressure of the war overrode these concerns. I would, uh, it, I would be remiss not to recommend an excess of caution when proceeding with future projects. Three of three. And there he is. There's our good Isaac this fellow. This must be Dr. Hammond, Atlas's lead scientist. We recovered some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork, and he couldn't give it up. Even after the war, I should make arrangements for a proper burial. That's a this nice This looks like touch. what we need. I'm glad they tied it in to the lore that was already here. Uh, Gat says, uh, hey, Oxhorn, how is still Dawn? Just got up here in the UK. It's uh, 7 a.m. Looking forward to playing it later. I'm having a good time so far. Uh, the Brotherhood characters so far are diverse and interesting and slightly complex, which is a good sign. Atlas decommission report number two. So we're reading these in the wrong order. Lieutenant Marks, August 23rd, 2077, selected component status. Ion focus. Our experiment with a compact ion focus has left it vulnerable to strong feedback during device initiation. It survived the test, but the design should be re uh, reconsidered before any future use is attempted. Induction coil. The induction coil suffers the same feedback susceptib susceptibility as the ion focus. Repeated usage causes significant variance in the flux distributions throughout the coil. Redesign of this device also needs consideration if it is to be used in any future trials, as the potential risk of frying the coil could require substantial capital in replacement parts. Core processing unit, while firmware updates have proven useful in troubleshooting important aspects of Atlas's operational cap uh, capability, the sheer processing power required to execute the necessary commands requires a special order CPU. This CPU came at a great cost to the operation, and numerous computing breakdowns during trial runs led leadership to question its long-term stability as well. Full diagnostic report pending. So, looks like if the Brotherhood wants to use this weapon, they're going to have to do some substantial changes to the technology. Atlas decommission report number one. Here's one. Lieutenant Marks, August 23rd, 2077, General Postmortem. Following the dismissal of Dr. Isaac Hammond, Lieutenant Oberlin has tasked me with overseeing the shutdown of the Atlas project. This report outlines the state of the project as of its termination. While showing promise in its final trials, the project still has major stability issues and considerable additional effort would be required to create a consistently operational device. The working trials impacted the operation of several key components, including the, mini uh, the miniaturized ion focus and primary induction coil. Also of concern was the enormous stress put on the coolant intake pumps and possible defects discovered in the release valves. That's everything. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. You bet. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't <laughs> supposed to show you any of this. Ooh, we could pass a charisma check of eight, but I sadly can't. 
Oh no, and it's important too. Now that you've let this much slip, you might as well give me a full explanation. No. I want to know what that says. Will I, will I lose out on my opportunity if I back out? Because I believe I have some armor and chems to get my charisma up to eight. Yeah. Charisma three. So, oh man, the glare. So that already puts it up to seven. If I've got one beer, I can do this. Bingo. What were you saying? I feel uh, very charismatic right now. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Wow. Now that you've let this much slip, you may as well give me a full explanation. I guess you're right. There's only so much I can tell you, but I'll share what I feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. It's like she watched my lore video on the place already. Uh, <laughs> you should have told me we were looting a military base. Now I'm even more on board. Let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looting is absolutely not what we're doing here. That's what I'm doing Everything here. Everything of worth that we remove from this substructure is going with me up to my lab to be cataloged and analyzed. Now, let's follow up on some leads from this report. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a diagnostics test. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin, see what happens. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? A lower core? Atlas didn't have a lower portion before uh, Steel Dawn. What are we looking for in the diagnostic test? The diagnostics test can tell us the state of some key components that we won't be able to test manually. Keep an eye on the state of each component and we'll want to look into them after the initial check. How will we know if the release valve works properly? The release valve is an emergency mechanism that can relieve pressure on the intake pipes if they come under stress. If all is well, we'll just be able to turn it and nothing out of the ordinary will happen. What will the wiring tell us about the machine? Think of the wires like the blood vessels of the machine. Without the electricity running through them, nothing's going to work. We just need to do a little checkup and see what condition they're in. That's like, that's like elementary school electronics right there. <laughs> Got it, let's go. Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details and we'll discuss how it goes after. Sounds good, Scribe Valdez. I like this one. We have similar interests. Deuteronomist says, oh no, I just realized Ox can't use any of this footage for lore vids because of the face cam. I'll probably just use it anyway. Plus, I need to do this on my other character as well to get more dialogue options. That's a lot of work though. All right, we can run the diagnostic check. <laughs> Interesting. Check complete. Key component status, core processing unit defunct. Intake valves rupture detected. Ion focus misaligned and induction loop flux disruption detected. Any other thoughts besides just interesting? No? Ghost Boner 
says, uh, you may already know, but clicking on any closed set of brackets in a terminal will eliminate an incorrect password choice or reset the number of attempts. I, I am familiar with that as I have played other Fallout games. But in this game, as you can't actually be permanently locked out of a terminal, I find that it's faster to just not waste time on all of those and just get as many done as you can. If you fail, you get locked out, back out. Try it again. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Just, uh, surprised. Didn't expect a jump scare here. <laughs> okay, Bethesda. Nice. Uh, Free Spirit says, surprise stream from Ox? I'll take it. Thanks, my friend. Figured I would tackle Steel Dawn while it's new. All right, what do we got here? Oh, look, it's like blood vessels. You know, like, like what? Because wires are like blood vessels. The wiring looks shredded. Likely the work of resident critters. Oh, that's a level 100 rat. does it for the inspection. Let's talk. Tricky, tricky with a Gauss shotgun. All right, let's go over the inspection results. The diagnostics check revealed some issues. Flux disruption in the induction loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? <laughs> I think it was misaligned. We could say, truth be told, I really wasn't paying attention to that. I think it was misaligned. Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? Well, I kind of exploded a little bit. It released pressure, so... Okay, now we'll go it exploded. It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. Yeah, it's bad. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Eaten. Completely chewed through. Mole, racked, uh, mole rats are the prime suspect. Or we could say totally aluminumized. Completely platinum gaze, glazed. Whatever that means. Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop. But in general, you're handling yourself well, so far. I wasn't expecting a test. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? If you can, you were in my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. Ooh. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. <clears throat> well, what do you I want me to do? I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Oh, great. Each extraction will be... 
little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Oh, great. Any questions, or are you ready to get started? A light touch? So why the pressure gauge? You saw what happened when we tested the release valve. I want to examine the stress on the gauge. That could tell us if all that built-up pressure was normal or an anomaly. Oh, and you may have to pry it off, but be careful about it when the time comes. Tell me about the core processor unit. The brain of the machine. It's the component that coordinates all of the others. It should be slotted into a terminal somewhere. May take a little technical know-how to extract, but nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. What do I need to know about the ion focus? A very important and technical component. It helps force particles into a beam that the machine could fire to affect the weather. Somehow. Could take a bit of manual dexterity to pry loose without any damage. Hmm. Julian Z says, Ox, upstairs you missed Scribe Valdez's terminal, and there are some kids you missed to talk to. They are down some stairs in the main telescope area. All right, I'll be sure to talk with all of them. All right, Valdez, I'm good to go. I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do. All right, bye-bye. Time to use my dexterity. Well. Oh. Okay. Let's eat some food. I've got a glowing meat steak, Marlark soft shell cake. Oh yeah. Let's drink some soup. Roasted Marlark meat, so good. Well, I've wasted some of it. Let's drop that. Where's my water? Don't I have any more purified? Yeah, I got a little bit left. So looks like I went up the wrong staircase. There we go. Okay, extract components from the Atlas machines. Ion focus. Inside its container, a miniaturized ion focus sits nestled in a bundle of tubes and wires, many of which are attached. How would you go about extracting it? We can tear the connections away with our hands and wrench the device out, gently unhook each tube and wire from the device and lift it out, cut the tubes and wires off and pry the device out, or pass an agility check of eight to unhook each tube and wire from its source and lift everything out together. And with that, we get an ion focus. Next. So this is how they chose to use that space. Interesting. Well, it would have made making a lore video much easier. This is much simpler to navigate. Hey, a cryo mine. 38 caliber rounds. God, I can't decide if I want the light or if the light is making things worse. Whoa. Oh, they cleared this out a little bit. And they boarded that up. So can't get out that way. And that goes back to Fort Atlas. So. There we 
we are. Atlas Central Processing Terminal. CPU management. Power active. No response from this system. Maintenance is recommended. We could eject the CPU. We could emergency eject the CPU. Or we could power down and eject the CPU. Before we do that, let's take a look at power status. Atlas system power is operational. Power output is 150% above expected levels and 350% above required levels. Output efficiency is 25% due to undiagnosed pathway failures. Recommend thorough examination and repair of conduit pathways to restore suitable level of output efficiency. Then taking a look at the operation logs, wow, spanning all the way back to uh, January of 2076. Uh, Test run, mixed results. Test run, positive results, positive results. March of that same year, CPU firmware updated. Prototype test run, positive results. Mixed, mixed, negative. Update, positive, 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 mixed. Update, mixed. Well, the safest way is going to be power down and then eject the CPU. Pressure gauge. Inside its container, a pressure gauge is attached with rusted screws. How will you go about extracting it? We can yank the gauge out without removing the rust, oil the screws to remove the rust and lift the gauge out, blast the screws off with our weapon and pull the gauge out, or pass a strength chunk of four to unscrew the screws through the rust and remove the gauge. Uh, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I don't know if I want to do that. I know it's a, it's a skill check. Oh, I thought of it. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine core? What? I didn't make a choice yet. Did it, it extract the induction coil from the Atlas machine core? Let's try passing the check. Pressure gauge added. Okay, I guess I don't understand why the quest just updated while I was in the middle of choosing the final option. Uh, okay, well. Let's extract the induction coil. Inside the container is an induction coil with two thick wires attached, one red, one blue. A low hum and the sound of static surrounds the device and the wires crackle. How will you go about extracting it? <laughs> we can cut the red wire, a little shock won't hurt anything. We can cut the blue wire, it seems shocky, but less so. Or we can unhook both wires and slide the coil out. Let's try that. What was that? Did I do bad? Mysterious component. That's mine. A mysterious canister sits before you, pulsing with an eerie glow. How will you go about extracting it? We can gently lift it out of its container, quickly swap it out with a heavy sack of dirt. <laughs> Or we can pry it out using our weapon as a lever. I gotta see what happens. We're going full on Indiana Jones here. We're gonna swap it out with a heavy sack. <laughs> quickly swap it out with a heavy sack of dirt. That there doesn't it. sound good. There it is. Hostile target ah. What? 
Go. Continued resistance is lawful. All good. You're not mad at me about the sack of dirt, are ya? Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The ion focus looks usable. Impressive. Usable, I'll take it. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this ultracite? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? So, these... These guys were using ultracite in the machine? They say ultracite has unlimited power. The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but to think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. Oh, I could do a lot with this. I hope they you get that big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate, and soon. Here, take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultracite battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. Nice! After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Thanks again for your help, and good luck with the Paladin. Well, I'm, so, I'm sad that they're not going to try and get Project Atlas working. Having something that could change the weather, the Fact Finder, a three-star legendary pistol. Ooh. Field testing. My, um, my little gunslinger character is really going to like this. Where was it? The Fact Finder. Shoots an additional projectile, so it's a two-shot 44 caliber pistol. Bullets explode for area damage. 25% less VATS action point cost. Wow, so do I need to level my gunslinger up to level 50 before I complete this quest? That's a pretty cool little weapon. Greg Williams with a tip. John says, Ox, look out for the bots. Thank you, my friends. Jared says, hey, Oxhorn, I thought you were going to do your stream tomorrow. Well, I decided to do one today, and I will do one tomorrow as well. Corey says, I will have to watch the replay. Look forward to it. Night Ox, Sagacity from YouTube. Thank you very much, Sagacity. All right, I missed everything else that I got because by pressing tab, I um, erased the pop-up notification there, but I'm not seeing anything else that was terribly interesting. Oh, there we go. Sweet. <clears throat> All right, we got a lot to do. We need to finish exploring Atlas uh, to find uh, 
the, the terminal, Valdez's terminal. We've got a couple of other NPCs to talk to. And we need to become a paladin. Or, I'm sorry, a, a uh, an initiate. Free Spirit says, How did your character end up carrying a sack of dirt? Well, it is a wasteland and we're all dirty. Maybe, maybe we just washed ourselves off really quickly. Oh, empty, of course, jerks. Oh, and we're back here. Okay. Looks like they've all cleared out. No kids, no other hollow tapes. Let's head inside. Keep fighting out there. Nice mustache. You should get that mutation treated, civilian, before it becomes a real problem. Calm down, Think I know what I'm the doing. Chain that binds. That is what he says. That goes down below. I'm not seeing any kids down here, guys. One day I'll make night. Then I'll show those raiders who's boss. Hope those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. Well, the kids are clearly here. More than just fight. Oh, maybe on through there. Got some kids' toys. I've been hearing about you lately. Did you need something? Well, we did literally just... We talked literally just a moment ago. Um... What have you heard about me? I've received a report from Knight Shin detailing your assistance in his duties. He has given his approval to your consideration as an initiate. Word around the fort is that you've been working with Scribe Valdez as well. So you're in charge of this place, right? As I may have mentioned previously, yes. I am the ranking officer here and the commander of this unit. Scribe Valdez wrote me a letter of... Ooh, wait a minute. I forgot to read the, re the letter of recommendation. Uh, Valdez's letter of recommendation. Here it is. Paladin Romani, I hereby strongly recommend the bearer of this note for initiation into the Brotherhood. I have personally tested their competency and believe that they can contribute to our mission at a high level. Their technical chops are impressive, and their combat prowess is such that they should have no issue holding their own in any fight we come across. Performance assessment as followed. Here we go. Discipline. Follows order orders, but is also capable of independent action. Technical ability Valdez exceeds expectations. Combat ability exceptional. That it? Oh, that's it. I can't go any further. Noofs at each other. It's madness. I've been hearing about you lately. Did you need something? Um, Robert Ferry on YouTube says, Can you spit more bars for us? Meat streak, glowing, soft shell Myrlurk, cakes. It was so deep for real. Thanks, man. That's what I do. I spit bars. Platinum. Jared on Facebook says, What did I miss? Oxhorn a bit. We're about an hour and a half. Well, no, about two hours into the broadcast now. So you're going to have to watch the replay for absolutely everything. Okay, we can give her the letter of recommendation. Well, between this and the report I have from Knight Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? Uh, <laughs> what would it mean if I did? Membership in the Brotherhood is a commitment to honor, duty, and service. You would begin as an initiate in our ranks. With time and training, you may one day join the scrolls as a knight or scribe, depending on your aptitudes and choices. On a day-to-day -day basis, Knight Shin would be your direct superior here, though any of the officers may requisition you for missions if needed. Okay. I don't really like Shin. So Shin and Valdez both recommended me? 
Both have given their approval to your initiate consideration. Yes. What did Shin have to say about me? Knight Shin said that your attitude regarding the role of the Brotherhood in relation to the civilian community was questionable. Nonetheless, he felt your intentions were honorable, and suitable training would correct any deficiencies. Which means he probably thought I'd like you. That remains to be seen. <laughs> so they don't get along. That's great. I love that dynamic. What did Valdez have to say? Given that you've clearly read her letter, I don't think I need to reiterate its contents. How did she know? I'm going to trust her judgment. Even if you need to learn to respect private communications. Well, I did read it right in front of her, so I suppose that's only fair. Yes. Uh... Oh, man, I really want to find out what this says, but I don't want to be locked out of something. Like, I don't know how this quest line goes. Can I... Can I reject it? Like, can I just say, nope, you guys aren't for me. Forget this DLC. I'm going to go do more daily quests for Foundation. Is that even possible? I don't know. You seem like jerks. I'm really tempted to say that. But my, I, the, the, the reason I hesitate is because there isn't an option to just flat out reject, which means if there is a rejection option, it's likely this one. And I don't want to reject. I want to continue doing the quests. So I'm going to have to say, I would like to join if you'll have me. With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first, I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make them see us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. So we are here to help the people of the wasteland. Okay. Oh, we can pass a charisma check to get more money? First, where is the nest? Wait, hold on a second. Things would be different now if Taggerty's unit had survived. If we say that, we move on to the next one. Let's first get the uh, the reward by passing a charisma check of four to say we don't know how dangerous this might be. Surely that's worth an extra reward. Your reward is that I consider you worthy to join our ranks. Limited intel suggests this is a milk run, perfect for a new recruit. But you're not wrong. We don't know the level of threat. Take this as an additional precaution. Hey, what is it? Money? What? What is it? Miscellaneous, find the kids in Fort Atlas. I just got a miscellaneous quest? What? How did... Okay. Um, why haven't you had some of the other initiates do this already? Well, I'm not in the habit of explaining my priorities to would-be recruits. You may have noticed there's a lot of work to be done here. You doing it accomplishes the mission and adds another member to our ranks. Two birds, one stone. Makes sense. Nivark says, Oxhorn, I look forward to your uh, Fallout videos. I have made it my goal to watch all of your other Fallout videos for the information I need and the Fallout fun that I need. Well, uh, thank you very much. That's hundreds of videos ahead of you, but you know what? I think you can do it. I mean, it just took me several years to produce. I'm sure you could knock it all out in a year. <laughs> so if I do this, I'll be in the Brotherhood? Complete this mission satisfactorily, and I will grant you initiate status within the Brotherhood. Yes. So where's this nest? We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams that we passed on the way into the region. Hi. I think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. You should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supply. Chad says that one stim pack was the bonus. Well, I think I have everything I need. Very well. Do this, and you will be one of us. With all the rights and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Okay, so 
This is Ramani's terminal. We need to find Valdez's terminal We're all and the chain. find Found the kids in the fort. Kids! Not allow Atlas to go the way. How do we get down there? Oh. Were they not down here before? Oh, they weren't even down here before we became... Okay, Maximo Leon. Do you want to play the Armory's board game with me? So this is why I didn't see the kids earlier. They don't spawn until I get the quest to become an initiate. Uh, can you tell me more about you? Oh, well, my name is Maximo. You can call me Max, though, for short. My big sister Marcia and I live here now with the Brotherhood. Need Isn't that cool? Why do you live with the Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, well, the town we lived in got attacked by raiders and our mother was killed. Oh. Um, but luckily, the Brotherhood of Steel was there and they saved us. Since we didn't really have anyone anymore, Paladin Romani had us come along with them. I can't wait to become a member and fight off bad guys like they do. I'll make sure no one ever has to die again. See, that's what heroes do right there. You know, every now and then, you know, with, with the right leader in charge of the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood can be a real good positive force. Elder Lions, great elder. Great person to have in charge. This Shin guy, I'm glad he's not Paladin in charge of this chapter. So, what's so great about the Brotherhood? They're heroes! The Brotherhood is going to save humanity and help make the world a better place. They save my sister and me and a bunch of other people along the way. Plus, the power armor they get to wear is so cool! Shadowshine says they were there, Ox. I met them without the quest. You saw me explore down here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Do you like living in Fort Atlas? Oh, yeah! It's a lot of fun living in the Brotherhood of Steel base. I kind of wish there were more kids my age to play with, but it's okay. The less distractions from my training, the better. I'm going to become the best Brotherhood of Steel member that Paladin Romani has ever seen. Okay, let's talk about something else. Whatever you want. It's fun talking with you. Let's talk more about the Brotherhood of Steel members. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to talk about them. I mean, they're my heroes. What do you think about Paladin Romani? She's the leader of the Brotherhood, and I'm going to try my best to impress her so that she makes me an initiate one day. It was Paladin Romani's idea to let us stay here with them. And I'm so happy that she did. Of course it was her idea. Um, wouldn't you rather be in Foundation? No way! I can't get the proper training I need to become a Brotherhood of Steel Knight there. I need the best combat training there is, and that's here. Speaking of, I wonder if Knight Shin is busy right now. Do you think she's a good leader? Oh, absolutely. She cares a lot about saving people and stopping bad guys. She's a real life hero. Let's talk about something else. Okay. How do you feel about Night Shin? Night Shin is super cool. Have you seen his power armor? He doesn't really talk to me much, but I, I think it's just because he's super busy doing brotherhood stuff and fighting bad guys. Plus, he's usually hanging out by the weapons, and I'm not allowed to go near there. I think we're going to be best friends one day, though. <laughs> I like this guy. But, I mean, I'm standing here in a literal full suit of power armor, and he's not saying a thing about it. <laughs> I bet Knight Shin would love it if you asked him a ton of questions. You think? I want to know all about the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Don't you think Knight Shin is a jerk? What? No, he's just busy. Saving the world is hard work. Someone in the Brotherhood can't be a jerk. They're literally the good guys. Oh, well, if you say so, Max. Jared says, how long are you going to be on? A bit longer. I want to uh, wrap things up here in Atlas. And then before going on to the next quest, I do want to try out the new um, bunker system, whatever it's called. Uh, 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 the camp crafting under your camp. I want to see what that's like. And then I'll end, and we can pick up tomorrow morning. Okay. What are your feelings on Scribe Valdez? Odessa is the best. She's super smart and is always saying stuff that I don't really understand, but I'm going to study really hard. And sometimes when the others aren't around, we play hide-and-seek around the fort. Aww. Sweet. Do you want to be a scribe? 
Nah, I want to be a knight like Shin so I can wear power armor and use cool weapons. Of if I was to be a scribe, though, I I'd want to be just like Odessa. Why do you call her Odessa instead of Scribe Valdez? She told me I could because we're friends. Just like how you can call me Max instead of Maximo. Although, when I'm a knight, I would prefer if you called me Knight Max. <laughs> I feel like my character is getting thirsty more quickly than it used to be before this, um, this DLC. Like, I feel like I topped up on food and water right before we came here and I had to do it again and now I'm already down on water again. Well, let's talk about someone else. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Sounds good to me. Well, I've got to go. Stay safe out there. You too, Max. Oh, well, maybe I haven't been here yet. Though I did explore bathrooms, didn't I? Maybe those were the lockers upstairs. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So I just missed this is what it is. Another nuke. We arrived in Appalachia not a moment too soon. Oh, they're commenting on everybody launching nukes. I love it. All right, so there's Maximo. I'm going to take all of this metal for my ammo crafting. Okay, who are you? Tell Romani that I'm tired of being in this place. Marcia Leon. I don't have anything to say to you or anyone else. Ooh. Why are you so rude? I'm sure you wouldn't be too thrilled to talk to anyone. If both your parents were dead and you were stuck with the people who caused it. Oh! How did they cause their deaths? I really don't want to talk about it. Just watch out. The Brotherhood can be reckless, and they justify it with some bullshit savior complex. Oh, wow. Well, the Brotherhood of Steel does what they can to help people. Uh, I wonder if that'll lock me out. Well, let's see what she says. If you want to talk about how great the Brotherhood of Steel is, talk to Max instead. You two can lick Shin's boots together. Okay, it doesn't lock me out. Well, I don't like the Brotherhood of Steel either. Congratulations on not being naive like Max over here. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Why can't you just leave? I would if I could, but Max refuses and I can't just leave him behind. We're all that we've got left. Hopefully he'll come to his senses and stop his blind hero worship. Let's not. Oh, come on. Well, you should join the Raiders if you don't like the Brotherhood. You know what? I just might. Well, I have to go. Good. Calm down, lady. Well, you know what this means. It's time to drink a beer. Let's see. No, oh, that doesn't give me... Charisma? No. There we go. <laughs> Where'd she go? Is she going to the bathroom? Yeah. Go away. What do you want? I never noticed that eagle sound effect when I when I drink the uh, the beer. We can pass a charisma check of eight to say if you ever need anyone to talk to. I'm a good listener. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'll keep that in mind if I ever feel up to it. That's it? All right. Good. good. Calm oh, down, goodness. lady. Golly. I want to go exploring with a desolator. Another nuke. We arrived in Appalachia not a moment too soon. Good eats. Dinner choices. Take it or leave it. People are still throwing nukes at each other. Is that it? Okay. Well, now we need to find uh, Valdez's terminal. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about them. I will not allow Atlas to go the way of Fort Defiant. Makes sense now. 
this is my place. I'm never gonna make a name for myself holding down the fort. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? Hmm. Well, I feel like. Roots, night shins training. Keep fighting out there. Okay, so that's Ramani's section. This must be Valdez's section. Ah, there it is. The elders have so much to teach us. I hope I'll get to meet them in person someday. Uh, Atlas Observatory archives. Are these all of the same? Keep that armor in good shape. Terminal entries we read when we came here it. before. Lieutenant James Oberlin. I think this is all the same content that was here before we'll make Atlas Steel Dawn. It is. Since I did a lore video on this, I'm not going to read it again. So instead we can move down to Brotherhood Chapter Scrolls. Who knows what strange contraptions the old mining firms oh, built here. Oh, Connor, Alan Connors, the holotape that we read. He was part of the party. I right, will start with Leela Rami, uh, Ramani. When do I get to go out and prove my worth? Rank paladin named Leela Ramani. Former U.S. National Guard, Paladin Ramani is a bold leader who cares for the people. She is renowned for her decisive action and inventive tactics. Though sometimes criticized by leadership as reckless... No one can deny her record of success. We're here to protect the people. This and her approachability oh, have made her very popular among the rank and file. After outstanding service to the Brotherhood, her requests for an Appalachian expedition were granted by the Council of Elders, and she was given command. Knight Daniel Shin. Go home. Driven. Let us take care of things here. Driven and dedicated, Knight Shin is a model member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Sure While his focus and commitment is sometimes off-putting to other members, we'll call it focus and commitment, especially to new recruits, it has earned him the respect of the Brotherhood leadership. His actions have drawn praise from the Council of Elders and even Elder Maxon himself. Knight Shin was recruited from the Mojave Wasteland, where his valor caught the eye of Knight Connors, who brought him into the fold. Wow, so it was called the Mojave I Wasteland made it, scribe, Tucano. that soon I after the apocalypse? I wonder what the Mojave Wasteland the scorch, looked the raiders, like the ghouls. only if 25 years after attack, the apocalypse. We'll be ready. And now you've got me interested. All right, at night, Alan Connors, former U.S. National Guard, as a subordinate of Paladin Romani, known for his wise counsel, he followed the Paladin into service in the Brotherhood. A noted peacekeeper and negotiator, Knight Connors was Everything a valued member now. of the Brotherhood this as a whole place. and the Appalachian my Expedition mission. in particular. He had a calming presence so and was up. skilled at defusing disputes. At Killed in action, valor valorously protecting Knight Shin and others from raider attack. Recommend highest possible honors. That's sad. Knight Matthew Thornberry. We'll Knight Thornberry is an exemplar of was. courage, whose selfless actions early in this expedition saved friendly lives and salvaged valuable technology. He personally rescued captured Brotherhood members from torture at the hands of hostile raiders in the Sierra Nevada, and furthermore recovered many fusion cores and enemy and energy weapons from the enemy. Paladin Ramani charged Knight Thornberry with escorting the rescued members back home and seeing to their recovery a task he eagerly accepted. A caring man with the mind of a scribe and the heart of a lion, we miss his presence dearly. While no longer part of this expedition, his deeds will continue to live in these scrolls. Well, good, at least it didn't die. And finally, scribe Odessa Valdez. Settlers want to rebuild, but they're only looking to the future. This expedition and scribe and the, the keeper of these well, scrolls. The scribe Valdez's forward. parents, early recruits known as the Knights Valdez, enlisted her in the Brotherhood as an apprentice scribe at a young age. Under the tutelage of scribe Haley Takano, who we toes. heard about the during the primary plot of the quest of, of the game, she learned to perform her role satisfactorily, taking a special interest in the operation of vertebrates and other flying machines. Scribe Valdez volunteered for this expedition in place of Scribe Takano, who was unable to join due to health Fort and Atlas other concerns. Oh no! Night Shins trained what us What happened well. to Scribe Takano? I hope she's okay. 
Just a few more tweaks, and then it's back to working on that vertical. Scribe Valdez's personal logs. We find two entries in the first Appalachia. Appalachia. After so many months, we are finally here. We came expecting the worst. Here. The scorched Don't get left behind. Plague. Utter desolation. Order. I remember Morning. sitting by Protection. Scribe Takano as we listened to each new communication here. from Paladin Taggarty's chapter. Every attempt to fight the Scorched brought failure and loss. Paladin Taggarty, as strong as she was, sounded more desperate every I time we heard her. I mountains. grew to understand why my parents insisted I stay a Scribe. I couldn't help but be thankful I was safe in my bunker and not out fighting that. Still, as the years passed, I couldn't help but yearn for the adventurous life of my peers. When the time finally came for our expedition east, I jumped at the chance. Stribe Takano wanted to go, but I insisted she stay for her health. Even if she did make it all the way here, I think the grief would be too much for her. I if I could get my hands on a sample. So she worked so closely with Taggarty's Thunder, with Taggarty's chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel, to define their corpses and to find everything and everyone, dead or destroyed, would have been too much for her. I wonder if that means that her heart was in poor health. I'll admit I was surprised when we arrived. It was Fine. more Protect than desolation. There were people, settlers and raiders, and those caught in between. The scorched are present, but there are rumors of a cure. I wonder Some vault dwellers, America's best and brightest, concocted an inoculation and spread it among the people here. I'm skeptical, of course, after all the horror I heard on that radio. How could I not be? But I can't deny Ad that Victoria. Appalachians have found a way to survive. We came here for knowledge. Maybe that starts with learning from them. Atlas Observatory. Everything makes sense now. We've set this up base in the old place. Atlas Observatory, Fort Atlas, we've oh, named it. I like the name. Good shape. It sounds strong. Your life could depend on it. This place was always on our list of targets. We know it's not just here for stargazing. The old regime was building something here, and we need to find out what. My first task is to do some research, start rooting through old terminal entries, and catalog we'll any old holotapes we find lying around. I've started an archive on this terminal, the to that effect. Raiders, Hopefully, cools, some juicy leads turn attack. up soon. We'll to think of everywhere we've been. Oh, these guys are the chattiest people, people in the world. Order, Holy cow. Hey, look at that nice bit of continuity. Up here, at least grab a wrench and She's working out. on that ultrasight battery. I wonder if she has anything to say on Everything it. What can sense. I do for you? This is my or place. did you come to London? Ange? I wanted to talk about what we uncovered in the substructure. Well... You aren't an initiate yet, but I guess we can discuss it a bit, since you helped out and all. What are your plans for the ultrasight power cell we discovered? I'd like to reverse engineer it and make more, of course. With the amount of energy it can unleash, we could power all kinds of things for a very long time. Think of how far a vertebrate could fly on ultrasight power. Will you be able to revive the Atlas Project? No, I don't think so. As much as I'd love to, we're too short-handed, and I just don't have that kind of expertise. We'll have to make do with learning what we can from the project for now. We're gonna be invincible. Sure thing. What's the next topic? I uh, wanted to talk about the Brotherhood. Lucky for you, I know all about us. Did, did we go through these already? What is the Brotherhood of Steel? We're an order dedicated to the preservation of science and technology. We find and catalog knowledge from before the bombs and keep it safe. Uh, you mean keep it for yourselves? You hoard it. That's one interpretation. Certainly one I've heard before. But my journey here has only reinforced my faith in our mission. We're dedicated and organized. I trust us to do the right thing with the knowledge we gather. Where did your group come from? California, all the way across the continent. I've read that people used to fly that distance in a few hours, but the trek took us months. Maybe eventually we'll get flying again, but for now it's an arduous journey. Why did you come to Appalachia? We're here to help the people of Appalachia, and to catalog any technological discoveries we find. We set up Fort Atlas to that end. This old observatory has a wealth of technology to discover. 
and is a good staging point for future operations. We also want to learn the fate of the old Appalachian chapter of our order. MIA. Presumed KIA. I learned what happened. The Scorched got them, in the end. Yeah. To be honest, that's what I expected to hear. At least they died trying to make a difference. May they rest in peace. I... knew some of them. From a distance. But... Uh, it's better if we don't get into that now. Well, we did read about it on your terminal already. So who leads the Brotherhood? The Council of Elders, chief among them. High Elder Maxon, our founder. He proclaimed our mission and set us on the path we follow today. Our expedition leader is Paladin Romani. She's an aggressive and daring commander who's taken us through many trials. I've got more questions. Okay, what do you want to know? I'd like to ask about being a scribe. Sure, what needs explaining? What does a scribe do? We're the heart of the Brotherhood's mission to find, catalog, and preserve pre-war technology. Though sometimes in practice, well, let's just say I spend a lot of time calibrating things. Didn't we go through this already? I feel like I'm going through the Pentagon again in Fallout 3 because I remember talking to many of them, especially Scribe Rothschild, about these same topics. Why are you called scribes? We record things, histories, schematics, every bit of knowledge we can get our hands on. We collect it all, compile it, and keep it safe, like old scholars or monks. Our name harkens back to that ancient tradition, so that's why we use it. Can I become a scribe? Hmm, well, first you'll have to join up, and we don't just take anyone. Then it depends on your aptitude. Not everyone has the mind or patience for scribe work. This will but be really interesting. Ultimately, there. if you're driven and competent, I don't see why not. So will we be able to choose to become a knight or a scribe? Sure. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about you. About me? What do you want to know? Where are you from? California. Though, truth be told, I've spent most of my life in one bunker or another. <laughs> my parents joined the Brotherhood when I was very young, so I grew up in the Order. Free from America to rebuild America. I also grew up in a bunker. Well, in a vault. Really? How rare. You'll have to let me interview you sometime. I'd love to know more about the vaults. Of course. I have a lot to take care of while we get settled in here, but I'll get back to you on this. Cool. Don't worry. Do you like being a scribe? I do. Scribes are critical to the Brotherhood's mission. It's a mission I believe in. The work that comes my way can get tedious or overwhelming, but knowing I'm helping the greater good keeps me satisfied. What do you think of the Brotherhood? We're a strong organization with a noble goal. Our methods draw some flack sometimes, but we're doing the right thing. Of course. What's the next topic? I guess that's it. I'll be here if you need anything. Now, chat says that I should talk to Shin before we leave. Good call, good call. Let's go find Shin. And then, I want to start building my own bunker. Those kids we picked up are doing okay. What were their names again? Started with an M. I can do more than just fight. But how do I show that I'm fit to be a scribe when I'm put on patrol? Okay, so he moves from here. Where is he now? Is he downstairs? Things would be different now if Taggarty's unit had survived. Make a racket, and I'll revoke your access privilege. Calm Don't down. tell me there are more petitioners. Can I ask some things about the Brotherhood? Make it quick, please. What is the Brotherhood's mission? to procure and preserve dangerous technologies from before the war and defend humanity from itself. Since the world went to pieces, anyone and everyone has been using what they can find in the wasteland to their own ends, unrestricted. If things continue like this, humanity will never make it. I completely disagree. People using things unrestricted, that's, that encourages human innovation and ingenuity. Having a bunch of laws in place actually restricts creativity. 
Well, why did the brother come here? The, the first expeditionary force was tasked with investigating several valued technological sites across the U.S., concluding at the Atlas Observatory. From here, we would report back on the fate of the preceding Appalachian chapter, carrying on the Brotherhood's mission in their stead if need be. Or we would have done that report if we still had a working long-distance transmitter. We have Raiders to thank for that one. Really? I've been to Fort Defiance. The Brotherhood was wiped out there by the Scorched. That lines up with our discovery so far. Truly an abominable threat, the that Scorched. I will refrain from asking why you were snooping around a Brotherhood facility. I will warn you not to do it again. <laughs> this guy. What sort of technology did you find on the way here? That information is classified. Ah, screw you too. Surely there must be a way to get another transmitter. There is, and my interpretation of our orders is that acquiring it should be our number one priority. Paladin Romani thinks otherwise. She has reevaluated the situation based on her own judgment. I'm following her orders. Well, I have some other questions about the Brotherhood. Ask them if you must. Oh, I must, buddy. Oh, I guess that's it. Make it quick, please. So what do you do here? As you can see, I'm in charge of the armory. I maintain and manage all of our equipment. I keep records of our stockpiles, distribute rations, and acquire resources as needed. Since we only have one paladin here, I also lead various combat operations and support Paladin Romani in any ways necessary. To be clear, my duties do not include human resources. You have made that very clear. <laughs> what is he gonna... Oh, Shin, I'd like to know more about you personally. Does this look like a social club to you? <laughs> I have my duties to attend to. I would hope that you have yours. What were your dreams as a child? If only we could ask that. Oh, um... You know what? There's more to life than just duty. It sounds to me like you haven't decided your purpose in this world. I have, and it doesn't involve making friends with everyone. Clearly. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about. Ad Victorium. Yeah, yeah, Ad Victorium to you, jerk. It's madness. Okay, and with that, I think we've covered everything new inside the Atlas Observatory. We got the kids, we got all of the terminals, we got all of the hollow tapes. we completed all of the quests. Well, we're on a quest. We now need to go to the Lewis and Sons to kill some ghouls, but first, let's go to a train station. Because according to the loading screen, a train station is where we're gonna find what we need to start on our bunkers. Tell you what, um, I need more rum. Because it's only midnight my time. And I've finished off my rum. And I need a quick bio break. So let's hide on over in a corner over here real quick. And I will be right back. Two seconds. Hang tight.
Thank you for your patience. Okay, I'm all topped up on rum and coke. My cigar is out. Let's open up a new box here. I'm really glad that uh, this Brotherhood chapter has some color. Because I was really afraid that there, that all of the characters were going to be stilted, just like Shin. And I'm glad Shin is there because that is the Brotherhood as we envision them. But all of the other members of the Brotherhood we've met, they actually have some character. They've got some personality and some color. And I'm glad that they did that instead of just making everyone like Shin, which I thought they were going to do. Did you get ice ox, says Edward? No, 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 no. I only use ice when I'm drinking scotch, like straight scotch. When I've got rum and coke, the rum is already diluted a bit with the coke, and I don't want to dilute the coke with just pure tap water, which was what would happen if I used the ice. So the coldness of the coke chills the rum, and that's all I need. Okay, so we've got a train station. Let's see if we can find the poster we need to start on this new quest. There it is. Shelters Claim Center poster. Your new home shelters. It's the home of the future. Visit the Shelters Claim Center today. The home of the future awaits. Okay, visit the Shelters Claim Center. Uh, where would that be? Oh, that's Lewis and Sons. Shelters Claim Center? What is this? Out in the middle of nowhere. Well, let's get a free fast travel to Vault 76, save some coin, and then we'll fast travel up as far northwest as we can and figure out what this claim center is. Ox, did you wash your hands? Patrice, come on. The answer is, of course, yes. It's COVID-19. I'm always washing my hands. <sighs> Robert says, all hail the, uh, the ox chair. Well, the ox chair has become the favorite character here on the broadcast. Okay. Ooh, it's a vent. It's a brand new vault. Now, this will be interesting from a lore perspective because <laughs> we learned from the Wastelanders DLC that Robco was working on their own personal kind of vault system to compete with Vault Tech. It would be strange then for Vault Tech to come out with their own personal vaults that you could build under your home to compete with their vaults. Also, how would they conduct their horrible experiments if you had your own personalized vault? Let's go find out. This looks a lot like 51. Why are we discovering Vault 51 again? We discovered Vault 51 already. I did a lore video on Vault 51. Hey, what's this? Ooh, that's cool, a shelter's claim center. What is this? 
Gertie the Grump says, what about the kitty nightlight? Well, it's, it's sadly out of batteries. Claim your shelter now to expand your home. Ooh. All sorts of goodies. Is that a foosball table? Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a Vault Boy themed foosball table. I love it. Hey, Nuka Cola Quantum, give that. Oh, I've got to turn that off. Otherwise, I'm going to get demonetized. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are the world radios playing? I got to fix that real quick. Otherwise, I'm going to get demonetized. Oh, that's right. I remember I had to turn on world radios to get PA recordings in uh, Vault 76 or Vault 79. I couldn't listen to PA recordings with the world radios turned off. Okay. Well, a chemistry station, a cooking station, foodstuffs. A little private bathroom here. Oh, yeah, this looks like a nice, a nice underground vault. Look, there's the mess hall. Look at all this technology. Well, uh, hello there, Mr. Clark. Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... <laughs> Goodness. Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some mem- <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? I saw a poster at a train station that led me here. Ah, <sighs> there's nothing quite like a successful marketing campaign. Now that you're here, may I interest you in claiming a free shelter? Well, I have some questions first. Naturally. Not to worry, visitor. I'm equipped to answer most basic questions from my customers. How can I help you today? What are shelters? Shelters are expansions for your home. Each shelter is a unique interior that comes ready to be built in and decorated by its owner. <laughs> Kerglow says, is this Stephen Fry's voice? Well, it sounds like a similar accent, that's for sure. Uh, you said you're experiencing memory issues? Yes, unfortunately so. My network was recently used to... <laughs> ah, it seems I can't exactly remember what caused it. <laughs> but rest assured, candidate... <laughs> Visitor, memory issues notwithstanding, I'm eager to help usher you into the world of shelters. Did he almost say candidate? Well, what are you doing here? I was programmed to distribute shelters from this claim center, and I intend to do just that. I've been waiting for a customer like yourself for ages. The apocalypse did put a bit of a damper on my sales projections, but with your arrival, it seems my troubles are over. Do you know anything about the vault outside? That's Vault 51. I don't know much about it, I'm afraid. The vault was sealed along with the others in Appalachia. But only one person ever emerged. His name was Mr. Gill. He lived here for a while, observing Vault 51. Something inside interested him. I believe he was investigating... I'm sorry. Most of my memories regarding Vault 51 are corrupted. I think Mr. Gill kept notes on the Claim Center terminal, if you'd like to know more. For the full story of Vault 51, you can check out Oxhorn's lore video on the topic by clicking here. <clears throat> uh, so wait, other people have been here? A few over the years. Two of the scientists who were working on the shelters project before the war used this claim center to hide from the bombs. They left in search of greener pastures once the blasts were over, and I never saw them again. Interesting. The claim center was empty for a long time after that. Uh, Mr. Gill is the only other person who's ever been inside, aside from yourself, of course. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> such a shame. So much good marketing gone to waste. Julian Z says, Ox, Vault 51 before Steel Dawn was an unmarked location. It was here, but it was undiscoverable until now. 
Oh, oh yeah, I think you're right. I, I, I vaguely remember that now. I mean, I, I discovered Vault 51. I did a lore video on it. I found it strange that I was just now discovering the marker, but that makes sense. It was unmarked until now. That's all I need to know about this. Then on to more pleasant business, visitor. Are you interested in registering as a shelter owner and claiming your free shelter today? Robin on Facebook says, Happy Thanksgiving, bestie. Thank you, Robin. So good to see you here today. And Jared says, Oxhorn, uh, you once called Elder Maxon, you once called Elder Maxon a villain, like a character from a comic book. He is no saint, but not a villain. At best, he is neutral, like the Brotherhood in general. So I wouldn't call the Brotherhood neutral. Um... The Brotherhood takes, depending on who's leading the Brotherhood, they take active sides. Lion's Brotherhood was, was morally good. They went out of their way and they sacrificed their own resources to help people. Arthur Maxon's Brotherhood of Steel was completely self-centric. They consumed the resources from people around them by actively stealing from those people to achieve their own goals. And sometimes they would say that through achieving their own goals, they were helping people in the wasteland, which is why they were justifying their actions. But everyone around them was just fuel in their eyes. They churned through them and consumed them to achieve their goals. That's not something a good person or a good faction does. That's something a villainous faction does in my personal opinion. For more on that, see my video on why the Brotherhood of Steel is evil in uh, Fallout 4. Well, yes, I'd like to claim my free shelter, please. Splendid. Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me, and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Okay, well, seems like a good deal. Free shelters by Vault Tech. Okay, so this have, must have been the sleeping arrangements of Mr. Gill. Hello, what is that? I have never seen that before. That's a vault girl holding a lantern and a welcome sign. Oh, cool. With little flowers on her pedestal. Oh, little flowers and mushrooms. So cute. I wonder if they're going to sell that in the Bethesda shop. Hey, and there's the Vault Boy statue. He's just hanging out there. Ooh, we got a couple of nasty pumpkins. Oh, and there's the Vault I'm 51 so statue. I have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Mr. Gill's safe. It's locked and requires a key. Okay. Shelters Claim Center Terminal. Select an option below to proceed. Uh, shelters Information Hub. Oh, wow. Is this basically like a tutorial? Basic information. Welcome to the world of shelters, the homes of the future. Shelters are expansions for your camp that come ready to be customized. They are the perfect sanctuary for industrious architects and those who want a little peace and quiet from the dangers of Appalachia. Whether you're interested in building gravity-defying structures with our relaxed workshop restric restrictions, decorating your new home with the finest furniture Appalachia has to offer, or rigging up maniacal mazes full of traps to stave off human invaders, or stave off home invaders, shelters has something for you. Okay, building in shelters. Building in shelters will feel a bit different than building in Appalachia. In order to give our customers total control over their shelters, we've chosen to alter some workshop restrictions. You can take advantage of relaxed snapping and support restrictions to build mind-bending structures, or discard gravity altogether and place items in mid-air. For those seeking a more traditional building experience, snapping rules can be enabled at any time in the workshop. Please note that some categories like food, water, allies, and resources are currently unavailable in shelters. Shelter entrances. 
When you register as a shelter owner, you'll receive your first shelter entrance. It can be placed in your camp and used to access your new home. Each shelter you own comes with an entrance. You can place multiple entrances to any of your shelters. Shelter entrances can be placed in your Appalachian camp or inside uh, of other shelters to create a daisy chain effect. Wow. Now that is cool. You can lock your shelter entrances for privacy while building or leave them unlocked for visitors. Please note that locked shelter entrances can be picked. The shelter's claim centers. A center accepts no responsibility for the theft of personal belongings. Oh dear. Socializing in shelters. Oh God. If they talk about ice cream shelters, uh, uh, ice cream socials and sodomy, I might be a little upset. We at the shelter's claim center understand your desire to entertain in your new home. Shelters have no maximum occupancy limit. Invite as many friends and neighbors as you'd like to pop in for a visit. They can even stop by while you're out for a stroll in Appalachia. So long as you have a shelter entrance in your camp, visitors can enter it and explore. Shelters fully support team building, so you can collaborate with your teammates to construct the underground hideaway of your dreams. Dweller on dweller violence. <laughs> You can engage in combat with other dwellers while inside a shelter. If you can, if you attack someone inside a shelter and then return to Appalachia, you will retain your hostile status. The reverse is also true. If you attack someone in Appalachia and then retreat into a shelter, your hostile status will remain. In the unlikely event that you are killed inside a shelter, your belongings will be returned to you. Disclaimer, the shelter's claim center accepts no responsibility for damages or, uh, to property or personal injuries incurred while, while inside a shelter. Find your friends. We believe that teamwork is the key to success in Appalachia. We've made it easy to locate your teammates' shelters so you'll always know where to find them. Simply open your map and if your teammates have unlocked shelter entrances in their camp, they'll be visible to you. If you wish to join a teammate in their shelter, you'll need to travel to their camp first, then access their shelter via its entrance. Exiting a shelter. We are sorry to see you go, but if you have business to attend to in Appalachia, you can use your shelter's built-in exit to return to the surface. If you get stuck inside your shelter or another dweller's, you can always exit using your map. Travel expenses incurred will be identical to the amount you'd pay to travel from the camp you started in to your intended destination in Appalachia. Shelter Owner Registration System. Welcome to the Shelter Owner Registration Hub. Please select an option below. We can register a new owner. Thank you for registering as a shelter owner. Your registration is now confirmed. Communication Logs. Ooh, what is this? Uh, regarding uh, the network interference detected on December 7th, 2102. Tell you what, let's start at uh, the beginning of time here. October 11th, 2077, regarding a sales pitch. Jameson, now that the system's functional, we need to iron out our sales pitch. Marketing likes shelters, the home of the future. We're having posters made to advertise. Make sure Harold's bot learns the phrase too, since it'll be interacting with the customers. A couple of the guys from management will be making the trek out there to see the claim center soon. Just hang tight for now and make sure the bot's keeping the place clean. Talk soon, Sawyer. Uh, regarding anyone out there, October 26th, 2077, three days after the bombs dropped, is anyone out there? Anyone left on the network? This is Jameson at the, La at the Appalachian Claim Center. Something crazy happened here. Some kind of attack. I can't get in touch with my family or any of the office landlines. Please tell me someone's out there to get this. Me and another engineer are down here with our Claim Center's bot. We're going to stay inside as long as we can, at least until the phones are up and running again. Hopefully this will all blow, blow over soon. The Raging Krogan says, what happened to your hat and suspenders? Well, you know, I, I can't wear them 24-7. I do change clothing throughout the day. Hat and suspenders, that's what I wear during my show and during my live streams and so on and so forth. But at night, when the kids are in bed and everyone's had dinner and I've got my rum and coke, it's time for the bathrobe. Hmm. Trying again, November 13th, 2077. 
Our bot says the network's still operational, but it's been radio silence since last month. Appalachia's toast. We haven't seen any signs of life in weeks. I'm not sure how much longer we can hang on here. We can hang on here. We tried to find a way into Vault 51, but it's locked up tight. Even its communications network is inaccessible from outside. I still haven't heard from my family. At this point, I guess it's pretty obvious why not. If anyone is out there, I hope you've had better luck. Jameson. Moving on. December 1st, 2077. We can't stay here. It's getting bitterly cold, and we've been having bad luck finding food. This'll be my last message on the Claim Center network. If you see this, come find us. Our names are Jameson Grillo and Aaron Brady. We're going to follow the Potomac south, hopefully towards a warmer climate. I feel bad about leaving Mr. Clark, but he refuses to, to, to desert his post. I hope the poor guy won't turn into rust while waiting for customers who aren't coming. See you out there. Jameson. Oh God, if we follow the river south, will we ever bump into Jameson and Aaron? Test one, October 30th, 2102. Can you hear me in there? Network unreachable, October 30th, 2102. The Vault 51 internal network is unavailable. You do not have the appropriate clearance to reach this network. Test 2, December 7th, 2102. Can you hear me now? Network interference detected. December 7th, 2102. The Vault 51 internal network is unavailable. You do not have the appropriate clearance to reach this network. End automated vault -Tech system message. Analyzing, analyzing unfamiliar network activity. Success. Analysis complete. I have detected human activity on this network. Greetings, new overseer candidate. Please proceed to Vault 51 to begin the overseer selection process. Network connection. Time out. Gill. Mm. Ruben's notes, password required. Hmm. It's been so long since I've done my Vault 51 video that I'm not exactly sure what all of that meant. Mikol Moore says, howdy from down south in Texas. Howdy there, Mikol. <clears throat> Good to have you on the program. Alien Face uh, uh, with a silver derby now. Congratulations, Alien Face, on your silver derby. Password. Well, Mr. Clark. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Tell me more about the free shelter. Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. Jared on Facebook says, I have seen the video on why the Brotherhood are evil, but here is the thing. Once you become a sentinel of the Brotherhood, you can buy the supplies from the settlers instead of taking it, and you can help keep the morals of the Brotherhood in a better, and uh, then the message gets clipped. Let me try and open it up. In a better light, hopefully, and thank you for hearing me out. My dear friend, you are the best Fallout lore guy ever. I'm proud to call you a friend. Thank you very much. It's true, a sentinel wields great power and authority in the um, um, Brotherhood of Steel, but we've got to take a look at the faction without the Soul Survivor's interference. That's how we can best judge them. I mean, without the Soul Survivor's interference and without the couriers and interference and so on and so forth throughout these games that's how we have to take a look at these factions if the player didn't exist how would the f factions live their lives how would they rule their their cities and their towns and and their tribes 
that's how we judge whether or not they are, they're on the, the moral compass that we want. All right, so tell me more about shelters. Gladly. <clears throat> shelters are the homes of the future, perfect for post-apocalyptic living. Each shelter is a unique interior, ready to be decorated. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create the home of your dreams and escape from the dangers of Appalachia. Shelters are accessible via entrances, like the one I just distributed to you. Simply place the entrance in your camp and step into your new home. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you know the password to access Mr. Gill's notes on the terminal? I'm afraid not. Mr. Gill was quite paranoid about things like that. He kept his effects in a locked safe and always carried the key on him. If he wrote down the password, he likely locked it in there. That's the corpse that we found outside. There is nothing else I need to know. Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. He was the overseer that escaped. That's right, he, he got launched out of Vault 51 in one of those containers. That's Gil, the last overseer of Vault 51. He came outside the vault. But we found his corpse. I guess we get to finally find out what happened to him. Unrelated to what's going on now, but I do love a bit of closure. But in order to do that, we've got to find his body again. Crap. Where was his body? It was, uh... It was like right along this road. Wasn't it right along this road? Or was it... Or was it down here along this road? No, 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 no. It was... It was right, it was by the Ehrenholt homestead. It was, it was right outside of Vault 51. Wasn't it? I remember it was by the mountains. That's where we're gonna find his key. There's a new map marker for the key thingy, says Grisu. Oh, is there? Oh yeah, you're right. Miscellaneous, find the key. Ah, oh, I'm totally wrong. It's at the isolated cabin. I'm just making it too difficult for myself. I'm trying to find a skeleton in the woods when we've got a quest marker. Did they move him? It's Reuben. They moved his body. His body used to be over in the woods. They moved him to the isolated cabin. And, oh, there's the safe key. There's his checklist, and there's shelter building supplies. Distract him. Hey, it's the exact same checklist we found on the body of Reuben before Steel Dawn. So they moved his body to the isolated cabin. Distract him, stash the rest of the supplies, jump into the other crate, pray to God I survive, find anyone from Vault 76 and kill Zax. Well, that makes me wonder about the other supply crates that we found by Morgantown. Remember? The ones that had the smoke billowing out of them? We found more of his notes there. Did, did he move those as well? Shelter building supplies. Need more materials to keep building in the shelter. Wood, steel, screws, gears, and copper. Are we going to find any gears and copper around here? So he was out scrounging for gears and copper when, uh, when the wasteland got to him. Whoa! Oh. 
Well, I knew it was going to be on his body, but I didn't predict that they'd be moving his body. All right, let's uh, let's head back to Vault 51. See what's inside that chest and what's on the terminal entry. Oh, the password is in the chest. Right. Passwords. Helen. Oh, Helen. <clears throat> the one woman he he regrets betraying. The one woman he, re he regrets killing. To understand the significance of that name, you need to watch my video on Vault 51. That's it, a stim pack and a combat knife. Oh, tell me we can get the vault suit. Oh, we can't get a Vault 51 vault suit. It's in a package right there and we can't pick it up. Oh, come on guys, I just want the vault suit, no. Ruben's note. Log entry one. Well, here I am. I've only been out of that damn vault a week and I'm already back at his front door. It gives me the creeps knowing it's right there, but if I'm going to get back in, it'll pay off to have a base this close. I thought this was some kind of vault tech control center for watching us in 51. Joke's on me, I guess. It's some kind of dumb real estate project with the world's most annoying marketing bot running it. Just my luck to get stuck with another stupid robot. Now that this terminal's working again, I guess I'm out of excuses to put off trying to reach the 51 network. Here goes nothing. Entry two. Turns out the 51 network's protected with a crazy firewall that I can't get past. I guess that's probably to be expected. Still, I think going through the network is my best shot at getting back in. He wanted back in? I know from experience that there's no way out through the walls. All I can do is keep trying. I think the marketing bot might be helpful. Maybe I can use its internal network to contact 51. I gotta get this done quick, then move the hell on. I'm having trouble sleeping knowing that 51's right outside. It makes me think too much. Why was he trying to get back in? He worked so hard to get out. I sat outside and watched Vault 51 for a long time today. Hours, I guess. Time doesn't mean much these days. It looks surprisingly peaceful from out here. Almost beautiful. All my hacking attempts have been unsuccessful so far. The 51 network's locked up tight. It makes me wonder if any of the messages we sent from inside ever actually made it out. I finally gathered enough supplies that I can start doing real work on the terminal. Mr. Clark got all up in arms about me tampering with the confidential network, but he can't stop me. I just want to end this. In number four, well, it worked. I got into the 51 network a few days ago. I wish I felt relieved, but the message I got back made me nervous. It wasn't all automated. I haven't slept since. I can imagine that be very that would be very trippy for him, seeing as how he killed everyone there. In log five, Mr. Clark has been complaining of memory issues since I got that message from the Vault 51 network. His speech patterns keep changing, too. I thought it was just his hardware starting to go, but then he called me Mr. Candidate instead of Mr. Gill. I feel like Zax is in here with me. It's like 51 all over again. Maybe this whole thing was a mistake. I need a damn drink. The house near here, houses near here are picked clean, but maybe I can find something in one of the towns. I need more building supplies anyway. I could use a couple of turrets in here or something, just in case. It's an excuse to get out of 51's shadow, if anything. So Zax, using the network, tried to follow him all the way out here. Oh, God. And that means Zax, part of Zax at least, is in Mr. Clark. Welcome to the Shelter's Claim Center. 
I was just in the middle of something. What was it? So lovely to see you again, visitor. I'll keep this place clean in case more visitors arrive. Julian Z says, Ox, one sad thing, unless they changed it recently, you can't place display cases in the shelter. Oh, no, really? Super disappointing. Hope they change it in the future. Yeah, that's like the entire point for me. My display cases are taking up so much of my camp's resources. My thought was just to place all of my displays in my shelter. That way I can free up some camp resources. But no, no, if I can't have displays, that's such a bummer. Well, I really wonder how Vault 51 lore has changed with the advent of Steel Dawn. I really don't feel like going through all of those terminals and holotapes again. That was just an enormous amount of work to get that lore video done. But I am curious as to if the lore has changed at all. Well, we've got our shelter door. Let's head back to our camp and start building. Ooh. Whoops, got a bit of a clipping glitch here. Oh well, back to camp. Drink water, Ox, says average Forza player. Okay. All oh, right, Reds. All right, where's all my meat? Carrot soup. Is all my meat gone already? There we go. This unit has been programmed with the task of wishing all who cross its path a happy holiday. Initiating happy holidays. Shelters. Here we go. Where should I put it? Door to my shelter. How about right next to... Oh, can I not twist it? Oh, why can't I twist it? All right. Oh. It's just been so long. All right, here we go. So, this is my shelter. Ooh, I just got a reward. Uh, so that's how we leave. So basically we've got these vaults. Oh, that's a shelter control panel. Oh, it works like a workshop. Okay, so so we just get these little rooms. So we just get a big little room like the one that we found to decorate. Oh, I, I kind of thought, part of me thought it was going to be like uh, the Vault Tech Workshop DLC for Fallout 4 where we find this big underground cave and we can build in the, in the underground cave. Can we remove any of these walls to like have more freedom building architecture? No, it doesn't look like it. Toggle workshop object snapping rules and shelters by pressing R. Okay, so I just, I guess we just decorate it with like. Okay, so now we've got a, a vault tile set. That's new. 
Vault stairs, that's new. Vault doors, that's new. Uh, okay, so... Can I... Ah. So that's what happens when we turn off snapping. And we can turn snapping on again. Can we make a little room here? Nope, I turn... Okay, so it doesn't want to snap to the edges. Ah. If I put that there, there we go. So if we turn on, if we turn off snapping, we can place items, but it won't want to, it won't uh, want to snap to the edges. Okay, what about power? Is this our power box? Let's see. If we go to... Lights. Well, I can't attach it to that. I can't attach it to that. Can't attach it to that. All right, so it doesn't come with its own internal power source. We would have to create our own, it looks like. Drop down a generator or something like that. Looks like there's a crate here in the side. We can't get rid of that crate. Okay, so we can't get rid of the crate. Well, I don't have a lot of really cool stuff. There. Put a bed over there. Maybe put a light above it. And that one doesn't require a power source. Let's see. There are already lights here. But it doesn't work. So, I can't turn it on or off. Even though there is a light coming from the ceiling. Ooh, and is that hovering? Yeah, that is hovering. Toggle snapping. Snapping is already on, and yet it's wanting to hover mid-air. All right, so we put that there. Even though there's lights coming out of all the walls and on the ceiling, there is no ambient light uh, power that we can use. So in order to get that to work, I would have to... Um, build a generator. Whoa, that's bright. Oh, we got a leak up there. And then, in order to get that bulb to work, I would have to do this. No, it's still not working. But, wait a minute, we've got... But I've got a, a power conduit there that's emitting power. You can hide the crate behind a door, can I? No, I can't seem to interact with it. Oh, 
Okay, well, there we go. Uh, that's the first one. Some interesting issues. I mean, you would think that... Oh, there we go. I had it turned off. There we go. Okay, so I've got my ambient light, and it's creating that light. So, look, it works. It works. It, it works as a, as a settlement building system. It's kind of small, but we don't get uh, displays. Are you right about that? Let's see. Uh, we went to shelves, right? No, shelves isn't displays. Wall decor. Plenty of wall decor. Miscellaneous structures. Stash boxes. Defenses. Yeah, displays was its own category, right? Is that a nose? Oh no, it's it's like a giant caltrop. What is that? Oh, that's the Grognak the Barbarian Throne. Yeah, I'm not seeing displays as a uh, as an option here. Oh, really? <laughs> well, we can... Hey, let's see if we can turn that off. Even if we taggle, er, er, toggle clipping... Er, it's not clipping. It's actually snapping. If we toggle snapping off, we can't place things that are too tall for the interior like flags. Let's turn that back on. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. Is that a weather vane? Oh, that's cool. Durag says you can use your atoms to get a bigger shelter. Can you? Okay. Well, I'm trying not to spend my atoms. All right. Yeah, so you're right. There's no display category, so we can't display our goods. No, uh, that means no bobblehead display, no armor or um, magazine display. Yeah, that's it. Hey, stairs. Well, we can get stairs to snap, but, uh, but yeah, the roof doesn't seem to work. Milo says, look at that as a fake wall that you can use to hide stuff. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Well, there you go. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and uh, build the entire thing out, but we've done our due diligence. We've tested out the system. And sure enough, it's connected to our settlement. Well, to our little camp here. Oh, that's great. Look at that. And we just come out right here. Okay, so it's limited space, which may be why it has an uncapped build limit, because you can only build so much in that space. It's only one level tall, so even though we can build stairs, the stairs go to nowhere. They go from ceiling to top. You can't put any of your, dis you can't display any of your collectibles, but power works. I mean, I guess I would use that as a bedroom, really. If I were to try to incorporate it into the camp I currently have, I guess... I would remove my little house here, which just houses my bed. That's all I use it for. And then I could decorate the, 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 the underground shelter as a sort of bedroom. I wouldn't use it as a display room, sadly. This would have to, main, this would have to remain my display room. See, these are the, uh, the vault displays, the display cases, and we should have access to them. Displays, yeah. See, it's 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 a it's an entirely different tab in the build menu, which it apparently is missing from shelters and shelves. No, no, we got shelves, but we don't have magazine racks. So I would have to leave this here, which is my big display case, all of the magazines and hats and stuff that I've got on display.
Ah. But I could use it for a little sleeping place. A place to lay my head. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about it for now. We got our feet wet into Why? Steel Dawn. We fully explored the Atlas Observatory. We met the major characters. We uncovered all of the lore about how they got here and why they came here. Up next, we need to start doing what we need to do to become a Brotherhood Initiate and to figure out exactly where the quest leads. We discovered the shelters. We now know how to build them. We kind of understand what's going on. I think we made a lot of great progress for today. But tell you what, I'm going to end the broadcast now. We'll pick up tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time for uh, some com a continuation of Steel Dawn. Thank you, everybody, who came today. I appreciate it so much. Um, we had a great turnout, even though it's pretty late at night. We had a pretty, a pretty doggone uh, good turnout, and we'll be doing more of Steel Dawn in the morning. I hope each and every one of you will join me for that. Again, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time for more Steel Dawn, and we'll continue to do Steel Dawn this week until we complete it. I hope to have a lore video ready for you for the weekend, but it really depends on how much free time I have, what with Thanksgiving and everything, kind of getting in the way that, that, that makes it more difficult for me. But I'll let you go now so that you can enjoy the rest of your night. Have a good one. See you tomorrow morning with more Steel Dawn. Bye-bye now. I just can't shake these nightmares, floating in space forever. Just why?